Ladies and gentlemen, American Theft 80s is finally here. My god, we've been waiting for over a year for this game, right? It kind of feels like that, uh, but welcome everybody. So what is American Theft 80s? Well, if you kind of like have ever played or ever seen Thief Simulator, it's made by the same people, uh, but this is more of an open world and the setting is set in, you guessed it, the 1980s. Uh, before we jump into today, today's stream, I just want to say that uh, this is part of this stream is part of Tap Tap Event, and that um, Tap Tap Event I'm gonna have a link in the description down below. If you click on that link, it would help me as a creator 100%. So, uh, what is Tap Tap Event? It's basically a surplus of all your mobile games needs. So, anything mobile gaming, go ahead and click on that uh, link below. Um, it's a unique link for me so that they know how many unique viewers go on go on and click on it. Anyways, thank you guys so much, and uh, let's go ahead and jump in to American Theft 80s. Welcome, everybody. Uh, let me just say this now. I'm really not kind of sure how the audio is going to be. If I'm too loud, let me know. If the game is too loud, let me know as well. Um, I'm kind of, I've made a little bit of adjustments from here and there, but if, if everything's fine and perfect, then, you know, we'll just continue <laughs> i don't know hello everyone hello mike gray hello peter hello darren hello vicky hello daniel hello bill hey bill um how's everybody doing and daniel dunn and then freaking yeah yeah good evening good evening indeed yeah isn't it incredible difficulty hard that's what you want to start me out on uh what the heck dude uh hang on a sec why no oh you no 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 you don't want to start me on that you want to toggle that now if you want to do difficulty hard there'd be no hud no mini map markers for items and tenants? No, 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 no. Look, I can barely play a game as it is. Okay, let's just one thing at a time here. <laughs> let's just do that. We'll start it off. Hey! This place is off the hook! Hi, let's go always look forward to your That's right! Purple heart, green heart. That's right! Hey, let's go! Thank you, Kyle, for that. That was very, uh, very, very kind to you for that super chat. Really do appreciate that. Hello, Brian! Brian Grieve Music. Greetings from Denmark. Well, greetings to you. Hello, Rockin' Richards. Hello, Carson. Hello, Daniel Coleman. Hello, Sean. How's it going? How's it going? Greetings from Malaysia. Hello, hello, hello. As a thief, who have thought of that, right? <laughs> hello, Chris. Hello, beautiful people. How is everyone? How are you, Chris? Um, is it morning or night for you? Well, technically, it's morning for me, in a sense. My morning, I should say. It's not really morning. It's actually like 12 p.m., but that's technically my morning. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off 24-hour mode just so I don't, like, break my own head. It's not that it's hard or anything. It's like I just prefer 12-hour format. Okay, so we're going to do that right off the bat. Um, anything else? Let me see where the graphics are at. Uh, if there's any... Um, look, if there's any... Um, doesn't seem like there's any motion blur. Okay, hey, if there's no mo motion blur, then I don't have to worry about motion blur, right? Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Nope, no motion blur at all. All right. Like I said, guys, with the, with the whole sound, if the, if the volume's too loud, just please let me know. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump to a new game. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for a long time for this game. Hello, Savage Shorty. How you doing? Hello, Shorty Shorty. Um, what year was I born in? Uh, 1995 is when I became alive. dun 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 it is 8 o'clock for you right now? Well, then it is. Good evening, indeed. Just got my PC and playing War Thunder. Oh, that's wonderful. Hey, subscriber. Hey, Art Vandalay. Chilling here at work. Please turn down the music. That was loud. Okay, fair enough. You know what I like about you, Jack? Thank you, Archie, for subscribing. You know how to keep things off the books. Try to go up the balcony. Go down that hall. The safe will be in his room. So we have done Let's Look At said this game in the past during a demo fest uh, last year. And so we've kind of familiarized ourselves with this like first mission or two, I believe. So there's nothing really new here for us until we get past like the prologue part. Five ten AM, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. So I'll turn down uh, a couple of settings here. I'll turn down some audio. We'll go, uh, well, we'll go down the music, I guess. Yeah, music. I will keep the dialogue up and then I'll turn down the sound as, as it is. Maybe we could do a little bit of that. How about that? How's that? Okay, very good. Hello, Chris Shenton. Good to see you. Oh my God, it still sounds freaking loud. 
Yeah, so anyways, uh, we, we're kind of familiar with how this uh, works uh, by playing our prologue in the past before. So I'm going to kind of go through this a little bit as fast as I can. Plus, most people pro probably have seen this anyways, maybe, possibly. What just happened? Wait a sec. Oh. Oh, you can crack open the door. Right? Maybe. Just push it open, dude. We can see right through the door. It's no big deal. <laughs> there we go. Okay, there's our guard. Now, I know one thing. I think I remember we, like, kind of hid in the cupboard or something. Maybe. I better hide. Wait him out. I hope when uh, King of Retail releases in fall, you do a season three. I'm near the end of season two. You are amazing. Uh, well, technically, I think there is a season three, I believe, in a way, in, in a live stream. But no, yeah, when it does fully release, I do plan on uh, making a whole new series for that. 100%. All right, this guy's going to walk by. We're going to go ahead and exit. Crouch. And continue. Okay, go to the bedroom and look for the safe. It's very dark, too. My God. Open. Yeah, so I, I, I'm pretty like fast at this because you know I, I, I've done this a hundred times. I feel like a painting of himself in his bedroom must be how he gets in the mood. Get down to the ground! Jesus Christ! Forgot about that though. You must be new here, cause you see, this here is the mayor's house. I bet the tour guide didn't spell that out for you. But don't worry. I'll set you up in the best hotel in town. <laughs> Welcome to Shady Woods, boy. Welcome to the 1980s, boy. I'm doing good. How are you doing, James? I get to play uh, American Theft 80s, and I'm really excited about that. This is the funniest part about the game is like trying to escape jail. A small town cop? <laughs> I bet you're glad it's off the books. Sunrise Motel. Voice is a little low. Okay. Two. I'll fix that. If you can still sneak past one lazy guard anyway. Let's go ahead and fix that. Do 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 I'll turn down the sound. Turn up that, go down music. Uh, maybe the sound could be a little bit up. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Okay. That should be a little bit better. Is this the demo? No, this is a full, uh, this is the full game. Okay, use the key. I've just done this part so many times because of the demo back in the day. So I'm very familiar with this right now. It was one year before my dad was born. So your dad was born in 1994, is that right? Find the backpack in the storage room? Okay, yeah, got it. No problem here. Like I said, <laughs> I've done this so many times. The first couple missions are going to be very... Uh, very easy for me, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm speaking too soon, but that's all right. Tired of working today and now relaxing, watching. Nice. Watching me steal some stuff. Love the backpack. See, the one thing about this game is that I really love how, um, you know, the third person is pretty cool. I do like the third person compared to, like, the first person. I think there might be... I think there... Whoops. Uh, I think there might be a... Um, a first person, if I remember, maybe? There might be a first person to this. Whoops. Possibly. Possibly. I forgot how this one went. So we have the backpack, and I think we just, like, bump out? No? Whoops. Sneaking and reacting? Nope, nope, nope. And we go this way? Actionless? No, no, no. Is there an exit that I just, like, totally, like, walk past? I mean, there's this one right here, but... Okay, you grab the backpack, then what do you, do you, you don't go out the window. You go back here? No, don't go that way. Pick up the back door exit key. Oh, duh. There you go. Pick up the back door exit key. I'm an idiot. 
1981? Oh, well, that is, uh... Okay. Oh, you're talking about this! Oh, you're talking about this game is, uh, before... One year before your dad was born. I see, I see, I see. I see, gotcha. Hey, Strife guy, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I have you on Alexa speaker. I've got a couple of things to do. Do Alexa speaker? Alexa, please play uh, Bob Marley. There you go. Okay, now we can... Uh, don't, don't even give me that. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. I can run out here, no problem. No problem. Get my pager, dude. Look at that. Take the bus. I've always wanted to live in an era where I got to use a pager. Sadly, that's not the case for me. But, you know, it's all good. You're going to a new school tomorrow. Seems I'm a year... I'm, I am year nine. And the school I go is for seven to... Seven year in year nine. And the one I'm going to is uh, year... The two year twelve. My god, that was hard to read there. <laughs> New school though, right? Yeah? Fast travel to do that for zero bucks? Absolutely. I'm just happy I'm the boss so I can watch YouTube while I'm at work. <laughs> that's awesome. Doing great. Hope you're doing great as well. Oh, that's very good. Very good. Good to hear that strife. Alexa just started playing Bob Marley. You damn well know. Hey, Rob. How's it going? Good to see you again. All right, go to the room two at the sunrise. Yes, sunrise. This is going to be like our little place for now. With our backpack. All right, this is where now we start to become a thief. This is where we're going to be coming, you know, this and that and that and this. And we're going to start really getting into people's giddy-ups here. Oh, my goodness. Hey! This place is off the hook. Alexa, play I ran by flock of seagulls. But you're not going to be able to just sneak in there again. Thank you, Darren. That was very kind. Thank you so much, Darren. Car on the lot. Grab it and go to bar 66. Since this is the 80s Talk thing. Stacks. He'll set you up in this town. Alexa, play Kate Bush. Okay. Sneak into the police parking lot and get the uh, car. Yeah. We're going to go get our car. This is going to be our car. Uh... I think for the time being, I don't know if you can get an upgraded car or anything like that in the future, but this is going to be our car for right now. This is a silly way of jumping in. I always thought, but that's all right. Now, I'm, I'm glad to be playing the, um, the you know, the full release build. Uh, just so, you know. Because there were some bugs. Admittedly, there were some bugs when this game was on demo, obviously. So, I'm really interested to see if some of these bugs were actually bumped out or not. All right, there we go. Open the gate and drive to bar 66. Uh, just so you guys know, look at this. A little bit of a map here. Now, this might look very, very small, right? I believe there's more areas you can go to in the game. Uh, click on the character and take a look at this. You can actually change your disguise, which is pretty cool. You can see your stats right here. Suspicious level, 25%. Night visibility, 100%. Uh, max stamina, 100%. Now, I assume night visibility is means that we would be seen at night 100% not um, we are completely uh, we're, we're, we're a ninja I guess you could say 100% uh, if that makes any sense anyways let's go to the barn on our way into the barn F in the chat for Alexa <laughs> here's uh, bar 66 and again we've done these missions quite a bit so I already know what to kind of expect here You're Jack. I know by that look in your eye. You got that face like you're looking for stacks. Yeah, I know who sent you. So here's the deal. I need me a thief. A better one who doesn't sound like a hobo flipping over a trash can every time he goes around the back. The Listen up, because I got you a job already. Some shit for brains up in that there trailer park stole my bike. It's a chopper. Go steal it back for me. And don't get shot. Because I don't want no bullet holes on my chopper. 
Start my new job next week driving one or driving class one HGV containers. So I will be away. So glad I have you on YouTube. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. Hey, that's awesome. It's very exciting that you get to start your new job. Um, I really wish I knew what HGV stood for, but I'm assuming again containers, right? Something to do with big containers, right? But that's awesome to hear. That's awesome to hear that you get your uh, you get to start a new job. You must be very excited, very thrilled about that. Very cool. Very cool indeed. I just started playing Drug Dealer Simulator. Pretty got a uh, pretty fun game. That game is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. Uh, you know, it is. We have like three episodes here on the channel, but uh, YouTube did not like me playing it. Oh shoot. YouTube did not like me playing it for obvious reasons. And I get it uh, with the hardcore drugs and all that. Um, like to actually make hardcore drugs is kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. It's a it's a pretty cool RPG-ish kind of game. Uh, if you, you know, if people are into that kind of game, like into drugs, selling drugs and becoming a drug dealer, like, oh, you want to try this job profession? You know, check it out, right? All right, so spot, zoom in. There's our job, jo Joe Bob, sorry, not job, Joe Bob. Wait till midnight, sleep in the car in the parking lot. We absolutely will do that. Let's go back to our car. This is probably one of my face favorite parts of this game is like how open world it is compared to like Thief Simulator. By the way, guys, I think Thief Simulator right now uh, I know this is like a plug-in for a whole other other game, but the same developers. If you guys are interested in becoming a thief yourself, you can actually become a thief in Thief Simulator um, on a discount. I believe uh, the discount is actually in play here uh, for Thief Simulator. So if you want to, you can become a thief and get Thief Simulator on a big discount. And tomorrow, the new DLC drops too as well. Now, I'm pretty sure I set my... Oh, I see. I set my thing to 12-hour format, except they don't want to do 12-hour format for setting an alarm. So that's kind of interesting. Anyways, I just have to wait till midnight. Um, wear night disguise. Change in the car. Okay. We must do that. Whoops. I think I have to do that inside the car. Yep. Uh, change equipment. Let's go ahead and get our night clothes on, our sneaky clothes on. There we go. Fantastic. They're gonna, now we look like a freaking thief. So sneak through the back fence. We absolutely will do that. You can see the little light bulb now showing, I guess, saying, hey, you know, they won't see us at nighttime. There we go. Oh, heavy goods vehicle. Okay, good shout. Good shout. I think my fever has passed. My eyes don't hurt as bad now. But now the sinus crap has started. My voice has changed. Hey, I would say if if anything, you, you've got past the, the worst of it, the fever. I, can't, I hate fevers, dude. You can never feel, you I don't feel good I at all with fever. something while I'm here. My guy just said, I guess we should steal something while we are here. No shit. Thank you for uh, observing that one there, ding dong. All right, let's just move through here. We'll just go into the trailer and like snag something. Honestly, the names of the drugs threw me off. I don't follow drug facts that much. I don't either. So when I went through and played the... Uh, uh, when I played a couple of episodes or a few episodes of that on the channel, I had no idea what the hell they were talking about. <laughs> no idea what the hell they were talking about. And I was like, oh, you know what? Even me, probably not the best person to be playing this game anyways because I don't know anything about drugs. I don't know, like, the whole ibuprofen and this and that and that and this and, yeah. You know what? Um, I, I have my forehead kind of uh, in the way, maybe, possibly of the map of the mini map so let me just like possibly move myself to the side or maybe move it up here i don't know what do you think maybe up here is fine let's do that i haven't gone up here before hello i'm up here now have you played the demo of fire commander yes yeah it first came out i think i have i think i have i think i have played it i think i played it last year right um uh, came out yesterday fire commander is that the um if i remember it correctly it's the uh it's the uh, strategy firefighter game, right? If so, unless there's another one, because they all get kind of blended with the names. But if it's the firefighter strategy game, yes, I have played it. And I think it's a banger, if that's the one you're talking about. And I have played it on uh, on the channel as well. Food Truck Simulator comes out September 14th. That's a big, uh, big uh, notice. I had no idea that came out then. That's a good shout. I have played Food Truck Simulator on the channel as well. Uh, that's a really good game. I can't wait for that game to fully release as I s casually sneak by this guy. Yeah, Food Truck Simulator is going to be really fun. 
lot of YouTubers play Drug Dealer Simulator. Does you does YouTube ban it all? Uh, no, not necessarily. Uh, no. Uh, I've seen other YouTubers, other smaller content creators about my size, uh, actually get copyright strike. Uh, not copyright strike, community guidelines strike um, from from YouTube for playing that game. And so I got demonetized, so I kind of took it as a hint that, you know what, I should probably not mess around and like step on people's toes since I don't have any influence over the platform myself. <laughs> Bigger YouTubers might. I'm driving this off into the sunset. Better go tell Stax his bike is a pile. So we have to like obviously steal this bike, but it's a pile of crap. So now we got to go all the way back to, uh, you know, bar 66 and let them know that your bike is actually gone. I don't think we can go out this way. I'm pretty sure we go all the way around, yeah? Yeah, we have to go all the way around. Because we have to get a hammer for that if we want to break into that. Alright, so let's go back. I guess one thing that we could also do is maybe check these trailers to see if there's any goodies. Okay, there's literally nothing in that trailer. Is this trailer empty as well? It's so dark. I was going to try to go through the front, but you know what? I'll, I'll just leave that be. I'll just leave that be. We'll, we'll, we're going to come back to this compound anyways. Can I go faster? Oh, I can. I can sprint a little bit faster while I'm crouching. Very good. Might, like, increase my noise a little bit, but that's all right. This has controller support? Hey! I did not know that. Good shout. We all know the only cure for a fever is more of a is more cowbell. <laughs> Yeah, I love the 80s style uh, interface to this game, too. It's pretty good, yeah? Okay, so the Fire Commander prologue came out yesterday. Okay, so then I must be thinking of, a, of another uh, fire, fire, uh, firefighting game. But there's a firefighter strategic strategy game that I played uh, last year, and um, it was pretty good. I forgot the name of it, though. Let's see here. Change that. There we go. Got to get back into our casuals so that nobody is suspicious about it. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go back to bar 66 and tell our good man that his bike is, like, terrible. And then he's going to be like, oh, steal some money, right? Oh, 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 XP. Love it. Yeah, I'm super excited to be finally playing this game now with a purpose. You know how you play demos and prologues and you're like, I, I would really love to, like, play it to the full max, like, get the stuff, get this and that. But I already know it's a demo and it's a prologue and we're not going to be able to save everything. That's not the case now. Now we can save everything and I'm super excited about that. So, I'm all for it. Who the hell are you? Okay, uh, let's talk to him. How you doing? How you doing, Stax? Hey, I got some bad news, man. Your bike is in pieces. Son of a bitch. Yes, son of a well, bitch indeed. If I can't have my bike, I want me some justice. Have you played uh, Not For Broadcast? I actually do have Not For, not for Broadcast on uh, on channel. Yeah. You get me from them the fair market value of my bike. Oh, and break something while you're there. I didn't finish Not For Broadcast, but I do have Not For Broadcast on it. And it was pretty, it was some pretty good funny stuff there. Pager, baby. You can sell your loot. And I definitely will sell my loot. And I will come back to, you know what? I should probably talk. No, I'll come back to you. Because the pawn shop's right next door. Literally right next door. I have a work call I'm watching on my cell phone. No no big deal. No big deal, Strife. Hello. You're buying something or are you just looking? I'm actually selling. Uh, I would like a hammer, though. We're going to sell you the gramophone. We're going to sell you the cassettes. And I will have enough money to buy a hammer. Thank you for the hammer. So now the hammer is going to let me go through that door that I couldn't go in before. So steal bike parts from the container. Check the uh, routines. So now we head back. Probably got to get into our sneaky, sneaky little outfit again. And we got to take the bike stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need to play a drinking game. Take a shot every time you have to steal an item in a game. It's no longer available. Modern times like a VCR. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Oh my god, I'll have to go and watch? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely have it. It's pretty cool. Is it the same on there? There is a fire commander in the... Um, Kansas is the same on, but there's a fire commander in the one that came out. is called Fire Commander First Response. Okay, okay, good shout. Good shout then. Okay, good shout there, Chris. Got it, got it. Oh shit, I did not put my... Uh, I didn't put my, my, my ninja suit on. Hang on, let me put my ninja suit on real quick. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Change. There. 
I do have to say, one thing I am noticing from this game is how fast and how fluent uh, the controls are. So, the game is very responsive, and I like that. Alright, let's bop this thing. Sneak up on it. He said to watch the routes, too. Okay. Crack that. This is gonna be... Oh, what the frick is... Uh, back and forth? What the frick? Oh, I have to aim. <laughs> I thought it wanted me to go left and right. No, no, no. Just aim. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. Open. Okay, cool. All right. Now, just be careful of the routes. Hang on. This is going to take full concentration here, folks. We good? I think we're good. There's a lot of lights. Okay, big items. So, we're going to have to load this into the back of our car. 21 XP, just don't mind me. I'm going to go through here. And I'm going to walk very briskly. <laughs> right out the door. No problem. Hmm. I heard stacks can also uh, get use in touch, uh, get us in touch with a loan officer where you can put up a left kidney as for collateral. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Shut the door. Now, I feel like I should like also, um, I, I feel like I should also go and try to find more money, like more possible money. Like try to go into that house right there. See if we can steal. Oh, wait, that, wait a sec. Oh, that's the back door? Oh, I see. I was gonna say, this house doesn't have a door on it. Well, yeah, it's the back door. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's be careful here. There's somebody actually inside that house. Maybe going and uh, trying to find... Okay, he's coming out of the house. Hang on a sec. I wonder which he's going. The dog trainer just got here? Alright, Kyle. <laughs> no problem. Okay, we'll go this way. What time is it? I feel like it's going to become morning time here soon. Can I get inside? Uh, I don't want to use a hammer. No, that would be way too loud. Okay. All right, well, let's not get, I guess, let's not get too greedy, and we'll, we'll go back. Yeah, one thing I do have to say about this game so far is that it, it is feeling really good. Oh, son of a bitch. This man is now guarding the back porch. All right, fan, oh. Uh-oh. Is he investigating the door? <laughs> oh, God, Joe Bob. Damn it. All right, well, let's see if we can go the other way then. A little bit of Splinter Cell vibes coming on here. Got it. That's a game I haven't played in so long. Splinter Cell. Let me just go ahead and sneak this way. I think he's like, I think him and then this guy up here, the only people that actually are like active no nobody up here yet nope i guess maybe not their time to be alive i don't know we're gonna go out the fence though i just would really hate one of these guys just to bot me through the uh just walk out the door just storm out the door okay we're gonna be good there we go all right yo yeah okay let's go to stacks now let's go give him his bike parts run go good stuff shut the trunk please and let's get going. Change our outfit back to regular clothes. And let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle, dude. Sick. Let's go. Common Hood has a demo. I wonder what has been updated. Um, I'm not sure. That was a D poor? Uh, no, that was not a D poor. I'm not sure. I've been waiting for that game, really. I have a key to that game, but I've been waiting to that for that game to really like make some uh, like substantial uh, efforts. <laughs> uh, they've been delayed, they've been delayed, they've been delayed, and then they have been a bug mess. Um, so I don't know what their plan is over there. I, I know, I guess it's a complicated game in some degree, but I don't know what's going on there. Uh, excuse me, open that up. I just hope for the best is all. But, well, I guess we'll just have to see. If it was the demo, I don't think it would have changed at all, maybe. Place it there. There you go, Stax. How you doing? I got your stuff. I heard about what you done over there, and I... Hello, I Team Western Productions. That's good, because I got more work for you already. Hey, Queen. I'm thinking I ought to invest in some rare vinyls. Vinyls? Rare vinyls? Problem is, 
the best ones ain't on the market. Word is, the best ones are on 701 Cedar Drive. This time, don't break nothing. Okay. Cedar 1. Sorry, Cedar 701. Steal four vinyls from Cedar 701. We got this. Okay, so, um, if I remember correctly, this is like the house with the, um, like the little house in the porch type dealio. I'm gonna have to wait till nighttime anyways. Because we gotta, you know, breaking in at night. That's like the best thing to do for us. And then we gotta learn, like, routines and stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, this one right here. Like, the uh, driveway up to the, up to the house. Now, there is a, yeah, there's a parking spot right up here that I can park at. I think and kind of sleep for a little bit at the music shop which we probably will do I'll just like park right here no problem and then let's change our equipment to our sneaky outfit let's go ahead and sleep until uh, nighttime at least nighttime there we go so that we are in the dark time and we'll get out of our car and that will be that now I probably would like to have my vehicle somewhere Someone sees you wearing burglar clothes? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, they don't. I'm good. Can't let people see you wear burglar clothes. A apparently wearing all black means you're a burglar in this world. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of hate that we work for this moron? He's a little bit of a moron now, isn't he? Okay, look at this guy. This guy's actually sitting out on his porch. Let me just go ahead and throw him in. So, Thomas... Uh, anybody that's wondering what that uh, that bar is right there, uh, what I think it is is that the red bar means that is the time he's going to be at home. The clear in the in that bar means he won't be at the house if it's during that time. It's a time scale type thing. If anyone's unfamiliar with that. Also, as a collector, I feel obligated to point out that the plural is of vinyl is vinyl. Did he say vinyls with an S? Oh, I see in the top left-hand corner it says uh, S. <laughs> okay, so this, use a crowbar. Okay, so we don't have a crowbar for that. Very well. I think the best thing that we're gonna have to do is hopefully think that this is unlocked. No, use a hammer. F, I don't know if I wanna do that. I don't know, I, I mean, I don't know who's all in here. That's the problem. I don't know if it's just one person or a couple people. If he's outside, I guess this is kind of worth a, a try here. I mean, but in real life, you would probably think I hear someone banging on my doorknob with a hammer out back. But this guy has no idea. Okay. We're going to press and hold E. That doesn't show us anything. Okay, let's just walk in. Now, I don't know when this mofo is going to come inside of his house. I'm going to grab. Oh, no, 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 no. Grab the money. I just want to grab the money. Just grab the money. Okay, no kettle. No no pan. I don't need any of that. That's not too too crazy. I'll take the radio, though. I'll take the radio and the money on the counter. There we go. All right, we'll go inside. Hopefully, he doesn't have a wife or we're actually F. Pick up the cassette. It's super dark. The vinyls are in this room. One vinyl here. Okay, so that's one vinyl. Pricey teacher toy. Okay, I'll take it. Apparently, it's pricey. Grab the money. Grab this money. Um. Oh god. Oh god. Just be careful. Just be careful. So dark. So dark. <laughs> I might turn up the brightness a little bit. So that's vinyl number two. I will take the gramophone. Vinyl number three. And I think there's vinyl number four. Okay, so we have all four vinyls. Now, we could get greedy here. Hang on a sec. Let me go ahead and actually just turn off the reputation. Not reputation. Good god. The brightness. For kind of all of us, especially on YouTube here. Did that even make a difference? <laughs> I feel like that had no like no difference at all. I might turn down the brightness uh, during the daytime. We'll have to see. I'll have to adjust that. But I'm gonna get a little greedy here. Can I take your TV? No. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yes. No. Yes, no, yes, indecision. Okay, hiding in there is an option. Still don't know if you have a wife or not. I take, I, I take another gramophone. I take some money, absolutely. Um, and then I take your freaking TV, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take your TV, absolutely. And I walk out the back. Now, 
I know what I have to do here is that I can't really take it over the fence. I thought, for some reason, I thought I could throw it over. But I can't. So the only way I would be able to take this out is through the front door. So this was kind of a waste, now thinking about it. In that case, I will steal your TV, put it in your backyard as a middle finger to you, good man. And I will run back to my car. And we will be good to go. Now, hopefully nobody sees me here. Did we get a level up? I think we just leveled up. Can we just jump into the car? Yo, S! That's that's superior, right? That's uh, top tier. No? Hell yeah. Okay, let's get back into our casuals. There we go. Let's go back to the Mr. Vinyls guy. <laughs> the beanie doesn't hide your mullet. The beanie? Are you talking about this guy? This guy? Does he have a mullet? I haven't even noticed, dude. Send it with a hammer? I didn't even notice if this guy has a mullet or not. Does he have a mullet? Let's see. I guess he does, yeah. Kind of. In a way. Oh, shit. No, no, no! Hey! Ah! My ears! Ah! Stop it! What the hell? Why? No. We don't clap for that. What the hell was that, guys? I, I thought it was inside the bar. <laughs> Alright, uh, Mr. Uh, Stax. How you doing? I got you. What was that? Joel over there knows how to rock. But it's me that's gonna make him a Can't star. be valuable records if they're just randomly laying manager. on the floor. And as his manager, I've got a chore for you. Okay. Go down to the music store and pick him up a new guitar. It's gotta be an aquamarine Les Paul Smith. Don't F this up. He's very sensitive. You're going, you want me to go down there, get an aqua, aquamarine Les Paul Smith guitar, and you're telling me not to F this up? What do you do all day? You just sit on a couch in a bar all the time? This guy still is a little bit sus, not working with him yet. Okay, before I do that though, I, I want to buy some stuff and sell some stuff. Hello. Uh, what do you have for sale? So you have a flashlight? I don't want a flash. I, I, I don't think I do. Uh, we'll light up items at night. I mean, really, I don't think that's really worth it right now. Uh, let's go ahead and just sell everything in here. Big money, baby. Big money. No whammies. Thank you very much. 139. I don't know if, uh, if Press Your Luck was on during the 80s. I'm not sure about that one. Is there a manual or a quick save in the game? There is... Great question. I think it is through yeah right here i think the save booth so phone booths in the game are your manual saves but i believe there's quick save as well but yeah if you want to manually save just go to the phone booth right there and you can uh, save right away um okay so now we got to go to this aquamarine buy my guitar get it going giddy giddy up thing here i take the long route i always take the long route in games it's kind of bad right hello ttv oh shit sweat clips it looks like a low-budget PUBG, but it's a different type of game. <laughs> Very different type of game, for sure. Very different type of game. Nowhere near a Battle Royale. There we go. Not even the size of the studio can is even comparable to PUBG. If you want to get technical with that. Right, let's go into the music shop and talk with the guy. Hello. Oh, no one's at the counter. Uh, excuse me? Sir, do you know who... Her, do you work here? Can I help you? Oh, you're the shop manager. I'm looking for an Aquamarine Les Paul Smith. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't help. Honestly, I had one just yesterday, but some dude picked it up as soon as it came in. Do you know who? Of course, I know, but I have records, uh, but I just can't share that with anyone for free. I could pay you $400, but I do not have $400. Okay, so no deal. Right. So, we could pay the shop owner $400 to get this, or we can break into the shop owner's shop and steal the records for ourselves and guess what we're gonna do we're gonna steal the records for ourselves dude 
Jump over. We're getting up there now. Get me up in there. Roof entrance? Yeah. Take it from the skies, baby. Take it from the skies. Okay, drop it. Drop it. Without much noise, I did not even put my ninja outfit on. I will take your gramophone, though. And I will take your tape recorder. And I will take your client's list. 703 is where the guitar is at. House 703. I will take your other stuff. Tape recorder, please. And then, um, let's see. Anything else you got going on here? No, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's all you got. Oh, there's a key right there. Oh, sick. Okay. I'm, I guess, I'm guessing a key to the back door here. Right? Yeah. Or to the music shop all in general. All right. Very simple, very easy. Gotta love it. Let's go. Superior. That should be S tier, baby. Now, again, I don't know if there's a... Okay, there is. Skill points. Okay, so we have two skill points. Let's see here. We have endurance, so 5% less stamina used during sprint. Uh, increased backpack space, probably the way I'm going to go. Tool mastery tools are 5% less likely to break. Not bad. Uh, detect near tenants and cameras, even behind walls. Sharp senses. That doesn't make sense. Detect near tenants and cameras, even behind walls. 5 meters. I'm assuming um, that they don't detect you. Uh, know the price of 20% items. I kind of like that. I'm going to go with backpack as my first one. I kind of don't even want to go with backpack as my second one. Uh, but we're going to go with the appraisal because I think that's kind of cool. So there we go. We'll go with the appraisal. Very good. All right, get back in the car. So a couple level ups already done. Love it. Let's go to the house 70. What the hell? 703. Yeah. That's right across the street. Oh, that's convenient. Um, where should I park my car, though? Uh, I guess in the back is fine. Possibly. I don't even know how I'm going to break into this house. But I should probably change my... Well, no, let's not change my equipment quite yet. No, no, no. I'm sure this guy's career is going to take off any day with stacks as his manager. <laughs> Appreciate that, Clips. Thank you so much. All right, let's see here. I guess front door, dude. <laughs> we'll go in and get our uh, ninja outfit on. What time is it? 3.25 in the morning? Okay, so the nighttime's going to end here soon. So, I mean, I don't know how I feel about this now. Uh, front. We'll go to front. Crouch. Press Your Luck originally aired in 1983. Oh, dude, we're in the right era then. Hell yeah. How come the front of the car lifts up when you drive it? I don't know. I think it's just some how the physics are built. This will require a bit of a different approach. Why? What do I need? Do I need tools for this? Buy some intel about 703 from Koloski. Oh, that's from uh, the guy at the bar, no? Yeah, that's from the guy at the bar. Oh, Koloski. It's like every, like, corrupted police officer in any 80s to 90s movie of all time. Okay. Koloski. Okay, let's put in our casual outfit on. And go talk to him. I'm pretty sure that's who it is. The guy in the bar, yeah? <laughs> it's this very small town. <laughs> it's... Uh, okay. Hello, Koloski. You got some information I could buy from you? What do you want? Uh, I need to... What the hell? I need you to turn down the heat? No, no, no. I need some info. I think he means police right there. So $15 for intel on somebody's house? I mean, I know, like, inflation and, like, uh, and, and just economics back in the 80s were different, you know? Look at that. We have it. So let's see here. We have this intel. So check the intel in map menu. So let's see here. Click for details. Ah, very good. So there's two residents here at uh, 703. There's Steven and there's Emma. Steven looks like he leaves the house between the hours of 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. However, Emma is there all day. All damn day. Um, <clears throat> now, you could say going, trying to rob the house with one person instead of two people might be a good idea. But if you do it in the middle of the night, they might be both asleep. So the couple of items that are very pricey is a tape recorder and a gramophone. Hence, they recently had problems with the fuse box. Ooh, okay. Fuse box. All right. 
guess there's a lot to look into here. Buy electrician disguise. What? Buy electrician disguise? That's hilarious. Can I buy that from here? Hello, I would like to buy something from you. $150? You absolutely know I'm going for that. Okay, so we have the electrician disguise. So equip the electrician disguise at hideout or car. Okay, so <clears throat> this is what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to wait until he leaves to go to work. And then what I'll do is I will knock on the door when she's home. This sounds very perverse. Um, when she's home and trick her as in, yes, I am the electrician. So how am I going to do that? Very simple. I have to wait till 8 a.m. So let me just go ahead and park myself at the gas station, please. Excuse me. Pardon me. Do I have something in my trunk still? No, I don't. Okay, so let's just park here. We'll sleep until... Uh, we'll sleep until uh, 7 a.m. We'll sleep until 7 a.m. to give me time to, like, walk over there and dress out and, and all that. Change our outfit over to the electrician outfit, which we cannot have a backpack and we cannot have a, have a tool set if we are dressed like this. So use the doorbell and talk to the tenant in 703 to get in. Okay. We're going to park... Like, how do these people... How, first of all, how do these people have a vehicle? They have no driveway. Do you guys not have a vehicle or anything like that? So let's go ahead and... Oh, God. Blocking the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't call the police on me. Please don't call the police on me. Please don't call the police on me. There you go. I love your outfit, by the way, though. There we go. Right there. Do not move. Okay. Let's get inside. I guess this will give us some... Even, like, some sort of detail i have no idea this this is all brand new to me i've never done this do i click like knock on the door hello oh doorbell ding dong what do you want i'm here i'm here to check the fuse box <clears throat> excuse me the fuse box i didn't call for any electrician you can check them but i ain't paying for that door is open go ahead okay very well Okay, so steal 703's backdoor key. Ah, I feel ya. So you invite me in and then you shut the door on me. Shoes derby. Okay, so backdoor key is downstairs. I'm just here to check your basement. <laughs> this is a new approach. Compared to like Thief Simulator, you wouldn't be able to do this in Thief Simulator. So this is kind of cool. Calculator. Give me your key. Wow, there's so much stuff here. There's a bunch of VHS tapes and a VHR right there. Or a VH, uh, not a VHR, a VCR. <laughs> Can I take money? <gasps> no, I'm taking all your money. Why would you leave money just laying around in a basement? Makes no sense. But I will take it nonetheless. Okay, so the disguise at the top of the counter, right top of the middle of the screen, only lasts for like 60 seconds. There's the freaking guitar, by the way. Yeah, okay, nice. So, we have the t key to the house. I will take your $5 as well. <laughs> you will watch me take money off of your counter. What is this? Oh, that's a pricey thing. Anything going on in here? I mean, we already know. The guitar is top tier. That's what we're here for. I'll just take that too as well. Make sure these people aren't watching me as I take their money either. Take that. Cool. All right. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, your fuse box seems to be uh, working just fine. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we know. What I'm gonna do? Best plan of action here: break in during the nighttime. Because oh shit, I almost ran that guy over. Sorry about that, man. Uh, that's like Tom Hanks. No, Tom Hanks in Big, maybe. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to break in when it's nighttime, steal the guitar, and that will be that. It's gonna be very simple, very easy, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be like a freaking band-aid, dude. We're gonna get this done easily. So I'm gonna sleep until 2100, and then I'm gonna go ahead and change my outfit to crazy man. Kind of like, can I not grab the uh, hammer? <gasps> oh no! What's wrong with my hammer? Is my hammer uh, is it is it glitched? Uh oh, hopefully it's not glitched. All right, here we go. We're going to take that freaking guitar. We're going to back this thing up here first. Because I don't know if this is going to be like a carried item or a backpack item. We're going to back this thing up here. Unsuspiciously. There we go. Get out. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Doesn't seem like a very friendly lady. I don't even feel bad for stealing her stuff. <laughs> okay, so I don't even know how to approach this either. I don't know if I should go for the back door. Is it the back door? Yeah, that was the back door. There. What the hell are you doing outside at 10 p.m. in your lawn here? You should be in bed. Go to bed. Yeah. So this is definitely a back door, right? Okay. So the fact that I couldn't uh, equip my hammer kind of makes this a little bit more difficult too. But okay, that person's there. Um, well, there's not really much I can do right now because that person's in the backyard unless I sneak sneak. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Can I do anything about this? Crowbar. No. Okay. What are you doing out here? 1030 at night messing with nonsense? Yo. Yo. You will not see me. You will not know I'm here. I will go down to your basement back door. And I will break in. And that will be that. Action. Use the key. Thank you so much. Open the damn door. Get me inside. Okay, we're stealing this guitar. Okay, somebody is asleep. Okay, that's good. Somebody is asleep. Calculator? Not even worth it. Uh, VHS tapes? Kind of worth it. Do I not have my backpack on? No? Why is my backpack not on? I thought my backpack was on. What the hell, man? What is happening? I thought my backpack was equipped. I'll equip the backpack. Oh, okay. So that, that was probably my uh, problem there. I thought my backpack was equipped. Good shout there, though. Well, that kind of sucks. I feel like I need to go back. <laughs> oh, I hate this. Oh, wait. No, no, no. One thing we'll do. Let's see if we can open up the front door, yeah? If we can open, open up the front... If we can open up the front door and go out the front, I'd rather do that. We might fail this dramatically. No, I can't. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll back we'll 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 backtrack here. We'll backtrack. I thought I, I had the backpack equipped, but I didn't. My bad. Alright, let's go back and do that. Again, I don't understand why this person's out here at midnight, but whatever. <laughs> I guess he's doing his thing. No complaint, right? I don't know if he'll be here all night. Which is good to know, because like I thought they were both gonna be inside the house all night, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Let's go. Jump it. Alright. Give me my backpack. Hey. There we go. There we go. Got it. Totally bonehead move there. Okay. Ready to go. He's probably hanging out in the yard to get away from his mean wife. <laughs> That's true. If she speaks to a random, like, quote unquote, random electrician like that how is he treating this guy look at her she's already in bed dude she's got the whole bed to herself there's like multiple bedrooms in here though so they probably don't sleep in the same bedroom i get that whatever okay so here we are i have a feeling like taking the vhs tapes could be something but they're, they're kind of like low tier i'll be honest with you i remember having like vhs tapes of like uh of the mask I believe the mask VHS tape was so dope because it was green, if I remember correctly. Like, it was just flat-out green VHS tape. Jim Carrey, 1995, I believe. Really good. Okay. We're going to take... Um, oh. Let's not be choosy, picky and choosy here. We have time we got to worry about. First of all, is this an, an item or is this a uh, backpack item? No, this is this is put it on your freaking back like you're the Jack Black in the Brutal Legends game. Got it. Put that in my thing too. This actually counts as backpack inventory, which is kind of interesting. Okay. We can carry the TV small. Like we can't go out the front door. So having and doing that isn't like practical right now. This is like main objective though. We came in and took all the cash that we did. That's fine. Uh, we could grab some, like, Jordans, dude. Oh, we can go in this room. We haven't been in this room. Oh, is this the bathroom? What is this? Oh, pricey. Tape recorder. We'll take that, too. Very good. Okay, let's go back downstairs, and we'll take the rest of the VHS stuff. 
Thanks, Johnny Boy, or John Boy. <clears throat> uh, I do want to kind of low key take the sneakers, but I guess we'll, uh, uh, well, $15? Yeah, I thought I picked up the money before. We'll go VHS tapes. Yeah, we'll take a little bit of Shrek and, and freaking the mask. I remember the Nickelodeon VHS tapes back in the day. They were, like, orange, right? They were, like, some orange VHS tapes. I always thought those were, like, special VHS tapes. I was like, oh, my God, they're colored. So cool. I feel special. And then I had to hit stop and then rewind just to rewind the son of a gun. Blockbuster always had, like, a chargeback. Not a chargeback fee, but, like, a rewind fee. That shit was stupid. That's the dumbest fee of all time. If there's any fee that will really, like, pee you off, it was a rewind fee at your local movie rental place. That, that, what the hell was that? <laughs> Look at me drive with the trunk open. Okay, so, we have the guitar. Hi, Ick. How's it going? Okay, we have the guitar. It's going to drop it off. That was the pure S. You bet, you ask, you best believe. Here you go, stacks. Got it for you, buddy, old pal. How you doing? Here's a guitar. Well, it's aquamarine, and it does have the correct number of strings. Six, by the way. I know a bit about guitars. Guitars? I'm the manager. Uh, yeah? So next up, that amplifier he got over there sounds like ass. Oh. Most people can't tell, but I got a good ear for this. My theory is they keep sticking cigarette butts in the air duct. <laughs> Ash is bad for speakers. So we need him a new amp. I hate the way he says how you doing. It's definitely not uh it's definitely not uh Joey Tribbiani. Where do I get one? Go get him a Stevie Mark 1 guitar amplifier. And I know this dork in house 7 of 5 who's got one just sitting there. Every time I look in his window, it's just gathering dust. It ain't right. So we got to take an amp. Is that what I'm trying to go after? Is an amp? Buy and equip the crowbar. Okay. <clears throat> Blockbuster was my first job. So much fun. Hey, Blockbuster. I wish Blockbuster was still around, dude. Blockbuster introduced me to so many types of games. Oh, test window. Okay, it's cool. Test window. Uh, Yeah, we would like to have a crowbar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy me a crowbar. Thank you so much. There we go. And then hit me with the test. Yeah. So look for Windows weak spots and press use. Wait, what? Look for Windows weak spots and press use. Higher. Lower. What the frick was that? Okay. Right. Thanks for that. Open window with the crowbar and steal the amplifier from 705. Should I buy information for 705? Hello, my good man. What do you want? Um, is there anything I could do for you, officer? As a matter of fact, you can, thief. There's this guy. He's got a few photographs I like to keep under wraps. Real confidential shit. If you know what I mean. I can't be caught stalking the guy myself, but I know he goes to the gas station every day around 12 p.m. to get a hot dog. He's a goddamn clock. Looks like a dork, too. Anyways, uh, figure out where he lives and get that film. And get that film. Okay, you went film. Look, you went photos to film. All right. Uh, I'm not going to accept that job quite yet, young man. Uh, I'd rather just buy some info from you from 705. Thank you for that. Thank you. So let's see here. 705. Hey, subscriber. 705. By the way, thank you for subscribing, Hugo. Okay, click for details. I want to rock. That's the name of the quest. <laughs> I want to rock. Rock. So we have Ashley and Gary, two residents, speaker and that. Uh, right, okay, okay. Ashley's not even at home right now. Okay, very good. Very good indeed. We'll, we'll actually keep that up if I can. All right, so let's run on over there and let's scope out the place. Let's actually shut our trunk so we're not looking like an actual, like douchebag all right let's run back there drive back there 
Is Stax even paying us for these jobs? Seems like we're just stealing stuff for him because he says so. We're not getting paid from him. The only time we're getting um, the only time we're getting paid is like when we have our stuff that is stolen from these people's houses. Like he's not. I don't know why we feel so inclined to help him. There's not really anything about it other than like, hey man, I need some help, so do some illegal shit for me. I'm like, all right. So tenants will call the police or even try to overpower you. Sometimes it's better to pass the time. Okay. Can we like do the electrician thing again? No? I wonder if we could do the electrician thing again. Let's see. We might. We might be able to. I don't know how like how that mechanic works in this game. Yeah, I'm not sure how this... Uh, this works in this game. Oh god, there's the tenant. Wait, is that a tenant? Oh, that is a tenant. <clears throat> is this Sim Thief Sim 3? Uh, no, the game is actually in the title of the video. Uh, this is created by the same people that made Thief Sim, though. Thief Simulator. So, let's see here. Let's go with... Let's see if I can try that disguise out. Yeah. Let's see if I can try it. I don't know if I can or not. We'll see, though. Let's see. Buy and equip the crowbar. I know it wants us to break in through the window, but I'm kind of curious. Am I able to use this disguise all the time? Or is it only during, like, certain times? No. Okay, so I can't even get in there. Why didn't they make that a DLC? This is a whole new game. They are making DLC for Thief Sim. It comes out tomorrow. Let's see here. So one thing to do is hammer through. They want us to hammer through that probably. Hammer through that door. We'll see here. I, I, I think because of this is being a compound, it's not wanting us to be an electrician. It's not like a house. It's not like a residential house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into uh, Ninja Outfit. I'm going to bring out the hammer. I'm going to get into the car. I'm going to sleep until nighttime. Yeah, I'm going to sleep until nighttime. There we go. And then I'm going to bop that door. And that will get us into the compound. Because it is very, like, strict here. Here we go. Oh, God. Streaming the same game as me, but mine crash has an update right now? Oh, crap. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't crash on me, then. I don't want it to crash. Okay, this doesn't even have a doorknob? It doesn't. Okay. So maybe this is a crowbar thing? Oh, wait. There's a fence right here. Ah. Can we jump this? Ah. They did not uh, protect their uh, their compound as best as they thought they did. Okay. Very well. Let's go get the crowbar there. I see it. I have the vision. I haven't heard about the Thief Sim getting DLC. Where you see that? Uh, just Thief Sim. Uh, just type in thief sim dlc it's a luxury dlc should come out tomorrow i think that's what i was uh, that's what i saw let's go here and we'll go crowbar bam bam yeah i think it's a luxury dlc it was supposed to come out last month but it got delayed until tomorrow or i guess until this month All right, here we go. Jump it. All right, let's see here. Let's go. All right, so amplifier with, oh God. Amplifier, very good. Just check on that person, that's Gary. Hello, Gary. We wanna go up the window or in through a window. Open window with a crowbar and steal the amplifier, very well. I don't know if I wanna go through that window, maybe a different window. Let's check over here. Whoa. What is going on? No, no, no. All right. Yeah. Maybe those are the only windows available to me. I mean, I don't think I could, like, scale <laughs> that. Oh, there's not even a window up there, even if I wanted to. So, yeah, this is the only spot. It's, like, these windows for this bedroom. This is interesting. Okay, this guy's actually leaving the room, maybe? Or he woke up. Okay, so this isn't good. Alright, this, this, this area is not good. But 
ты сюда. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this right away. I mean, if anything, I could pop, maybe pop this with the hammer if I had the hammer, but I don't know. I think that still would be a lot. I, this isn't gonna work. This is not gonna work right now. I don't know how the noise affects in this game, unless I just pop this right here while he's sleeping. I'll try it. No, absolutely not. Yeah, see, too much noise on that. Too much noise. So I just gotta wait for this guy to leave. Okay, Gary. What time is it? So your your shift doesn't change until early in the morning. So I gotta come back here kind of early in the morning in a way. Yeah, this is an early in the morning job, not a 10:30 p.m. job. All right, let's run. Let's go back to sleep. Have I saw the demo of Housebreaker? Would you like it to has more a lot more fun hiding places like? So yeah, I've done. Uh, I've actually I, I recorded a video of Housebreaker, and it was a disaster. <laughs> there were so many bugs and the game broke on me like I couldn't get past the first mission because uh, it it just didn't it, it stopped working like the police came and they um, they were walking around the yard and I would like walk up to the police officer and they wouldn't even bust me or anything like I was face to face with the police officer and they were searching and they still wouldn't bust me like it was broken I was like well that's a bitch <laughs> So I kind of just scrapped that one, but I have played it. Yeah, I did a video on it, but had to scrap it because it just was too much of a mess. Yeah, I haven't tried it, but the trailer looked good. Yeah, it looked good. Uh, and I have the recorded footage of uh, of it being broken. Oh, God, I forgot I'm in my uh, bad outfit here. Now, the fact that I'm not in the nighttime could be a problem here, but I might be able to pull this off. This person is outside, though, and it's super dark in the house, so I don't know. I might be able to get away with this. Yeah, okay, they, they seem pretty far away. Yeah, the other person's upstairs. This might work. What? Damn it. Nope. That's not gonna work. Interesting. Okay. What if I did it back here? So you're Ashley. Your shift moves in about a couple of hours. And then this is Gary, yeah? Your shift moves or changes in like a split second, it feels like. I haven't tried it. Maybe you should do the funny fail demos videos. Be funny and good. <laughs> I was thinking about posting that video, the housebreaker video, but I don't want to like make a bad, uh, a bad impression on the game because I feel like that wouldn't be fair to the devs, especially on a demo. There, there, he's done it. Get out of here. That's how you do that. So you have to make noise no matter what. Interesting. I was trying to be more careful about it, but I guess not. All right. So this thing, okay, this thing, we're looking for the amplifier. Now she's upstairs, he's outside. There's a ton of money on the counter. Grab this stuff, please. There we go, very good. I think I might take this TV. Now there's a ramp. Yeah, I can ramp out. What the frick is that? Oh God, I can carry this too. Oh F me, oh F me, I don't know if I want this. Uh, I might, I might, I might though. I might, I might, I might, I might. We'll put it right here for now. Put it right there. Okay, continue. We gotta get the amplifier. That's like top priority. It's upstairs though. And I don't know how I'm gonna get up there with her being up there. Oh, I guess it's, okay, I see the stairs. Okay, okay. I see the dream. I see the dream. No, Gary! Gary's coming inside. Gary's inside of the house. Gary is actually inside of the premise. Oh, shit. Please don't move, Ashley. Oh my god. Okay. Yo. Gary should not even hear me right now. Give me this. I have to carry this outside. There's a guitar right there too. Give me the guitar. No, no, no. Give me the guitar. There we go. Give me the amp. Okay. 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 Let's be let's be good here. 
Let's be good here. Just casually walk down. Just casually walk down. Just casually walk down. It's okay. It's okay. He's not going to move. He's not going to move. He's moving. Okay, he's not going to move now. I'm just going to casually walk through. He's in a different room. Just keep going. If you're not looking, he won't see you. If you're not looking, he won't see you. There you go. Now outside it goes. Okay, give me this too. I want this too. I'm getting greedy now. Look at me go. I want that too. Somebody's moving. Okay. I will take... I will take... I will... I will take your alarm clock as well. That's mine. <laughs> and I will walk out. Because I am... Okay, she's leaving. She's going to the living room. Ashley's going to the living room. I love that prompt, by the way. That The game just prompted me that she was coming to the living room. Good shout, game. Okay, I'm taking both of these. Actually, I don't know if I... Yeah, I'll be able to take both of these. Here we go. Is there police in this game? There absolutely is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That will go out there. There we go. Cool. Now, there's no way I'm going to be able to go and get anything more now that she's in the living room. I kind of just kind of ran out of time altogether. Hey, but that's all right. We got our stuff. We got a couple of things at least. I like it. I dig it. I'm all about it. Guy caught me in the game and I threw my TV, hit him, and I ran away and got away. <laughs> there we go. Let's grab the other thing. And we have a guitar. Hey, that was actually pretty good. There we go. Get our amp. Or sorry, we already put the amp in there. Get our speaker. I'm surprised they haven't noticed that an amplifier, a speaker, and a guitar is gone. If anything, my luck, they'd be like, oh my god, somebody stole my alarm clock. Get out of here with that nonsense. Let's go. Okay, let's go back into our casuals. Now, we did that all during the daytime, which is kind of spicy. All right, let's go back to the bar 66, please. Let's go, let's go. But so far, this game is actually running pretty smooth. I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it a lot, a lot. Okay, um, now, I would like to sell this first. Can I take this to the pawn shop first? Yeah, I can. Cool. Excuse me. Open up. We'll take the speaker to the pawn shop, and then we'll take the amplifier to what's-his-face. Stacks. What a weird name. There you go, my good man. Hello. I have a few things to sell to you. Uh, yeah, I have a guitar. I have a speaker. Electric guitar only goes for $47. This electric guitar goes for $47? I feel like I'm getting ripped off. The alarm clock... Is twenty dollars and the guitar is forty seven dollars. I call absolute BS. What the hell is that? You know what I went through to get that guitar? How dare you? That's an insult. I should sue you. That's ridiculous. All right, so now let's drop off the amplifier. Do -do 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 <laughs> there you go. How you doing? How you doing? Here's the amp, dude. You done a good job on that amp. Thank but you. That's not enough. What? The Hell's Demons are coming tonight. The Hell's and Demons. We need more than a rocker. But like the Hell's we Angels. Need beer, and lots of it. That's where you come in. I am what you might call a meticulous planner. I see ten moves ahead of the board. I am the goddamned Gary Kasparov of alcohol theft. I don't know who Gary Behold. Kasparov is. Very well. Um, <laughs> reputation. Like, I don't know what reputation actually means. But our bar, our reputation with the bar is working out. So now we have a couple of quests here. We have this guy and we have this guy. Now, I think I'm going to go with this guy because he was like kind of like next in line type thing. Uh, and the guy shows up at 12 p.m. at the gas station. And it's 11.40 right now. So let's do that right now. And the gas station is right next door. I will accept this job. It's not illegal if you don't get caught. Okay. Uh, follow the photographer from the gas station, 10 a.m., and steal the film roll. Okay. I thought he said 12 p.m., not 10 a.m. All right. I think, that, I, I think I'm right in that situation. So gas station here. We'll just pull up with our hood up, or I guess our trunk up. Let's actually close that down real quick. There we go. 
and I guess wait here until 10 a.m. I, I could have sworn the guy said 12 p.m. But whatever. Let's go uh, 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm here. From the gas station and steal the film roll. Oh, I see. It's in that little spot right there. Is that where we have to park? Gas station heist? Goddamn. Do we have to park here or stand here? Car. Yeah. We have to park here. Right? Get out. Stay in. Stay in or stay out? <laughs> Is this game available? Yes, this game's available. It'd be cool if they were multiple people to sell to, like multiple vendors. True. Now, I think there might be in later games. In the later game, yeah? Sleep? It's saying 10 a.m., yeah? Yeah, it is saying sleep. Maybe I have to wait here until 11 p.m.? I don't know. I guess 11 p.m. is here in a couple of seconds. We'll do that then. Hello, uh, Arkivian? Arkivian? Yes, it is available, though. Arkivian. Ark. They're at the bar. Why do we need to steal booze? <laughs> Got my downloading update. Sounds good. Thank you, John. <laughs> Some free Steam Kings for your viewers for uh, after infection. Sick. Very, very good. Thank you. Thank you. So it was past. Oh, it says 10 p.m. This says 10 p.m. This, the okay, the prompt up there says 10 a.m. This says 10 p. What the actual hell? Oh. Okay, so they're mixing up the, the times here, maybe? Or it's very confusing, one or the other? So this says 10 p.m. now. Okay, what is 10 p.m.? 10 p.m. Uh... So up there it says 10 a.m. Down here it says 10 p.m. What the hell is going on? How weird is that? Current heist. Whoa. Gas station. Wait a sec. No, this is something different. This is actually the gas station heist. This is not the... This is... Oh my god. Wait a sec. Beer run. Finish gas station heist. What the heck is happening? This is still the same one, no? Like, Hi says in this is still the same... I don't know. We'll just do it. F it. So, climb to the roof. Steal the key. Okay. Uh, climb to the roof. Steal the key. Okay. Get the beer crates from the back room. Okay. Take the beer crates to stacks. $100 reward for this. Start 2200 to 2300 is that what it is? You got two quests there? One, you follow one at the same time? We'll just do this. I gotta get my uh, clothes out. There we go. Okay, now let's go. Oh my god, now because it's past 11 p.m.? Oh, you stupid son of a... God damn it. Alright, well. <sighs> love that. Just absolutely love that. Okay, well, then I guess what I'll do is I'll go back to 10 a.m. Just to see if this guy's at the gas station. Now, do I have to, like, walk? Oh, God, please. No, get back inside. Get your casual outfit. Okay, let's see here. Is this guy even here? I'm so, like, oh. I walk in with a crowbar. Not very uh, customer-like of me. Hello. You are the photographer. What do you want? You have a Polaroid? Are you actually kidding me? I'm here to check the fuse box. It requires an electrician. No, no, no. So this is our boy. This is our guy. 
Okay, so we found our boy. There he goes. So there's not really a quest prompt for him. Okay. So in that case, we know that we're going to need to be an electrician for him. So we know what he looks like. We have what he is. Let's go ahead and change our equipment out to be an electrician. Because we want to steal photos is all. This man has a Polaroid though. Does he live across the street? If he lives across the street, then good God almighty. We're just creeping up on him. <laughs> Don't mind me. First time making it to a live, well, shout out to you, Bobby. Good shout. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Bobby. Shout out to you, man. <laughs> the car has been sitting outside for like, outside the gas station for like two days. Nobody's suspicious about it. All right, here we go. Can I knock on it? No. You don't have a doorbell either? What the frick, dude? So I probably should have talked to him beforehand. And that's, that's the back door? Maybe that's the back door. Whoa, dude, his house is kind of big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Ding dong. Hello, ma'am. Um, I'm here to fix your wires, tie your tubes. You know what I mean? Uh, what do you want? Uh, I'm here to check the fuse box. Yeah, where's your license? Go away before I call the cops. Okay. Well, fair enough. And apparently I am absolutely blocking the way. I'm sorry. Folks, I'm here on a job. I'm here on an electrician job. My God. Jesus Christ. Damn. Okay, so she's not into it, dude. She's not into the whole electrician thing. She says, I call your BS. And rightfully so. Uh, she has, uh, she's very, very smart about that. I will throw on the burglar outfit and probably throw on the crowbar and pop in through your freaking window. How are you going to like me now? Now, one thing I could probably do is actually wait until nighttime. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to risk it for a biscuit here. It is 12 p.m. in the middle of the day. Uh, so, here we go. Got it. Nobody on the pathway, right? Nobody walking through this trail. Let me in. Okay. We're looking for photos. Anything else that, that's that's good. Hey, Devin. Money? That's good. My God. What is happening in here? Oh, those are playing cards. So, hang on a sec. I want to try out... Now, hang on. Like, an alarm clock is $20. I'm picking up the alarm clock because it's almost more than a guitar. So, if I look through here, nobody's there. Okay. This is very, very... Uh... Yo, you actual son of a bitch. Yep. I'm, I'm out of here. Yo! Get up! Run! Yo, you will not catch me. Call the police, see what happens. Call the police, see what happens. I just abandoned my vehicle. I just abandoned my vehicle. Probably the worst mistake I've ever made in my entire life. Yeah! All units respond! There's a jackass at the gas station. Get him! Get him! Ah! I'm not robbing you! I'm robbing somebody else! You will never find me. I just Assassin's Creed you in the 1980s. <laughs> Are you like me now, coppers? I was in the store with regular clothes, no crow, uh, no crowbar, hammer, and I walk up and was just joking, told woman, works at gas station, hey, you got nice dump truck, but short legs, and she called police on me? What the hell? <laughs> she says that, but you could still go in if you ring the front doorbell? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. When was the last time you asked electrician, plumber, etc. for their license? <laughs> what about a contractor, dude? You should be anybody on a contractor. That's one way to get scammed. That happens a lot where I live. She just says I didn't call and you can check it, but I ain't paying for it. Didn't you play this a long time ago? 
I, I did a demo. I did a let's look at video of this game. Yeah, now that it's, this game's actually full release now. Watch him, like, climb the roof. <laughs> Terrible. Right, rightfully so. I'm in burglar outfit. These people should be scared of me. Okay, so I have the heat on me, technically. The heat is on me. So let's see here. If I were to go in, and I said, hey, I would like to change my equipment to this. Am I still allowed to come in? Yeah? Hey, I'm back! I know you said I don't have a license, but um, I'm going to just barge my way in through the door. Your husband won't mind. I don't think. F. Your husband's gonna mind. <laughs> what if I jump through the window? I don't know if the window's fixed. Window probably is fixed, right? Yeah, the window's fixed. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this in a different uh, approach. I'm gonna go nighttime on these people. Go back to that, that, and that. We're gonna go nighttime on these people. I'm just gonna go and pull back to the uh, gas station real quick. And we'll do it that way. Oh my god. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Gas pump. Gas pump. Don't want to crash into that. Okay, let's park. Go to sleep. And we... Oh god. We will sleep until nighttime. 20 hundred. There we go. Alright, let's go back. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yeah, no big deal. Just that, you know... 8 o'clock at night, a Geo Metro just comes and parks on the side of your house. It's fine. It's really fine. Okay. Now, I could have bought maybe Intel on these people, too. That's one thing. That would probably would have made things a little bit easier, too. All right, let's go ahead and use the crowbar again. Okay, they didn't seem to hear that. That's good. Um, I don't even know where these people are at, technically. It's not illegal if you don't get caught. Okay. Right. Okay. Now, let's check through the door here. We'll check through the peephole again. I can't rotate, so... Oh, perfect. Okay, so she is there. She's in the living room. She's looking at a book. Very good. So, what if I pop that door open? Will she hear it? No. Can I then check her out? Angela. Okay, Angela is there. So we have eyes on Angela. Angela is now watching a movie. Okay, Angela is here. Now, where is the photographer at? Great question. Probably the most detailed thing of all time in any video game. This has a cord going into the outlet somewhere, assumably. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Angela, 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 chill. Okay. Now we make a move. She looks at a bookcase. I come across here. Very good. I take the $5. I don't know where her husband's at still. Little terrified on that matter. Very terrified. Last time I talked to him, we got in a confrontation. I punched him in the forehead and then we left. Okay. I don't know where he's at. I could hide in here. There's a hiding spot. So I do have a hiding spot. That's good to know. Are you in here, my good man? Are you in the bathroom? You are not in the bathroom. That's a big ass bathtub. Uh, I will take run man. Yeah, we'll take a run man. Thank you. We know about run mans. A running man. There we go. Okay. Take a telephone. Maybe. Possibly. Hello, Eileen. Um, there's the film roll. Okay, cool. We found the film roll. It's on the kitchen table, apparently. Give me that. Give me the cassettes, too. Okay, she's just chilling. She's just chilling. Now what I do? I get greedy. I say, you know what? I steal your film roll, but I also steal everything else in your house. How you like me now? Do I take your microwave? Probably not. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know where your husband is. Maybe he... Your husband is outside. He's right there. What is up with people doing yard work at 10 p.m. at night in this game? Does everybody hate their wife? What is happening? I'm going to take your microwave for that there, jackass. Don't mind me. Okay. One thing that we need to get past is Angela. You know what? We'll wait. No, we'll go. We'll go through this window. Yeah, why not? Let's just go through this window. This window seems the way to go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm inside. I open up. 
I say grab the microwave. I say throw it out the window. Have a nice day. Do I get anything else? No. No, I don't get anything else. Why? Because I know when it's a, a, when it's a good time. I don't get too greedy. I get greedy, but not too greedy. I open up the trunk. <laughs> I put the microwave. This is a big ass microwave too. <laughs> this is definitely 80s microwave technology. This is a microwave that could possibly start a nuclear war. Let's be honest here. They were built different back then at your local Sears. Okay. Let's go through here. Back to the... Yeah, back to the bar. Back to the bar. We got a level up out of that too. Nice. Very good. I will sell the microwave. I don't know how much I'm going to sell it for, but I will sell it. It was great watching you. Got to run. Hey, you take it easy, Bill. Thank you for stopping in and hanging out with us. Appreciate it, Bill. <laughs> hey, my man, I got you. My grandma name was Angela. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Alarm clock, clock, $20. Still overpriced as hell. But whatever. Run min, 55 Pretty good. Cassette tapes, $5. Radio. A $133 microwave. I told you. It could cause a fallout. Okay. Deliver the film now. Very good. I should probably change my clothes, too. I'm surprised that guy didn't question me. He's like, you just came in looking like a burglar. Here's all my stuff. He doesn't give a damn. He don't give a damn. It's not during the day. Got to rake the leaves at night. Here, what do you want? I got the stuff for you. I need. I got the film. Ah, well, it is the film. I guess I better pay up then. Yeah, you should. Reputation? How much money did I get? Did you give me anything? I don't even... You gave me a reputation? Like, is that all you got me, dude? Okay, next quest. What do we have here? Joel Snake Fist. What a hell of a name. Need help, Joel? Uh, don't call me Joel. Stax calls me Joel. But I'm Snake Fist, and I'm wiped after that set. Man, get a bottle of Jack Walker so I don't have to get up. I'll see what I can do. So now we're probably going to have to, like, the gentleman's drink, right? Ask the bartender about a 1960s Jack Walker bottle and steal it. We're stealing from our own bar here. What can I get you? I, I'm looking for Jack, uh, 1960 Jack Walker. We're all out of Jack Walkers, but my ex-husband always got a few bottles in the house. Seven of six, that's, that is. Okay. Where does your husband live? Can I ask you about that? Uh, I'm look. Uh... <laughs> Uh, okay, your ex-husband. Who the f who is your ex-husband? Joel, do you know who her, her ex-husband is? Who the hell is your ex-husband? You say that like I know who you're talking about. Uh, right. Beer run? I, I, I doubt that's what we're going at here. Who's your ex-husband, lady? Recently, okay. He lives in 706. Okay, good shout. In that case, buy me 706, please. Uh, I need some info on 706. Let's see here. That's weird. I wonder why she didn't tell me that. Jennifer and Scott. Well, it looks like he uh, moved on pretty fast here with your ex-husband. Uh, they recently had problems with the fuse box, so maybe we can go in there with our, uh, with our handy-dandy freaking uh, electrician outfit. Sneakers, gray, those are pricey items. You got sneakers, all right, and a radio cassette recorder. All right, let's head on over there. 706, please. Where is that? Is that to my left or is that to my right? Okay, I see where that's at. Down the road. No, oh, don't hit traffic. Okay, Jack Walker. She did, just not in numbers. She did? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. This is a big ass house. My God. Okay. Cool. 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 Let's see here. Uh, change my outfit first. Get into the ninja outfit. Very good. Okay. Let's see here. Whoa! Hey! 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 Jennifer, you take it easy. I'm just out here trimming lawns. 
Now that shouldn't be a problem because everybody in this damn town does it in the middle of the night. So I'm just out here raking up wildfire prevention, lady. Good God. Okay, let's see here. So this guy's in the backyard at two in the goddamn morning. I'm telling you, this this town is just they're out of their minds. <laughs> it's like it's like illegal where I live. It's illegal where... Oh, they have bars on their windows. They're smart. It's illegal where I live to do your yard work at night. Maybe I could jump over here. Yeah, they they have bars on all their windows. Okay, looks like uh, crowbars is not what's going to happen here. Very well. We might have to wait till the morning time. Yeah, we might have to wait till the morning time and dress up as an electrician. I just finished the first episode of your Read Shop Sim series. I'm about to go roll one up myself. Oh, dude. That's very good. You have a lot of, like, there's, like, 13, 12 more videos, 12 more streams. Hope you enjoyed that. Had a lot of, I'm having a lot of good time with the Weed Shop series, I tell you what. It is on pause for right now, just because this week's going to be a little bit hectic. But, um, yeah, uh, super excited with that game. That game's pretty fun. We're, we're, we're really at the point where we're making a lot of money now, which is exciting in all itself. Okay, let's go ahead and park here. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep until the daytime because we're going to try to do this as an electrician, I guess. Change our equipment. Go back to an electrician because they had a problem with the fuse box, it says. So we'll take that into account. We'll knock on the front door, ring the doorbell. Hey, how you doing? If they had a problem with their fuse box and this lady says, I, I didn't order an electrician, I'm going to call her BS. I love raking leaves at night. It's like my little hobby. I just got done rolling up. I'm smoking now. Uh, what do you want? I'm here to check the fuse box. I didn't call for an electrician. You can check them, but I ain't paying for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. You don't have to pay me anything. Okay. So I'm just here to take your like bat your bottle of whiskey. Or Jack. I am here to take your eight dollars too. Uh, okay. I'm here to take your $7 and $8. Where is your... Oh, flat pan? No, no, no. Where is your uh, bottle? Probably in the kitchen, yeah? Check the kitchen. This is the smallest kitchen of all time. Actually, mine's probably smaller. Okay, it's not in the kitchen. Very well. Uh, I'm afraid to go in there because he's sleeping in there. I have about 90 seconds to pull this off. Uh, not in the bathroom. I don't know why it would be in the bathroom. Probably upstairs. It's a very narrow staircase here. Door. Door. Uh, looking for it. Looking for it. Oh, there it is. It's at the bottom. Oh, it is in his room. Son of a gun. Okay, so it's in his room. Okay, I see it. Yeah. It is in his room. I did not mean to pick up this damn sneakers. I'm just here for the money now. Now that I know where the where the bottle is at. Yeah, it's it definitely in his room. Okay, now that I know where his bottle is at, I'm just going to here and take all the money. How much time do I got left? 38 seconds? Okay. All right, my man. I know how to rob you, kind of. Still got to figure out how to get into the damn place, but um, unless I could just walk in. Think I could just do this? Stop right there. No. Yeah, I expect that. I expect that. I don't know. I was testing you out, dude. I was actually testing. You actually have me in a great uh, pin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just testing your ability to see if you would like, you know, if you would offer the electrician a little bit of glass of whiskey. That's all right. That's okay. You don't, you don't roll like that. I get it. Son of a bitch. Had a neighbor who'd be washing a car in a bikini at three in the morning. What the actual hell? Why am I not in that neighborhood? I assume anyone doing yard work at yard work at night is bearing a body. Facts. <laughs> okay, so hey, uh, we know what to expect now with this place. Uh, the one problem I can see is just trying to get into the house itself. So that's the only thing we really need to figure out. I could bop the doorknob. I think yeah, the doorknob is boppable. Now, I didn't check this side of the house. I'm going to check this side of the house real quick. There is a way up on top. Ah, I see it. And then there's probably going to be a window up here that we can bop. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see it. I see it. I see the dream. I see the dream. Now I just need to get into the right attire. Very well. Very well. I see the dream, though. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you liking the game? I played the demo a month back, and it was fun. Is it worth the money? Uh, so far, I'm having a good time. I played the demo uh, a while back, too. By the way, hello, Capital. Um, I played the demo a while back, too. There was some bugs when I played uh, the demo, but so far, I I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm enjoying it. Is it worth the money yet? I would have to play a little bit more before I could really give that answer, but it feels more polished than the, than the demo version. I don't know why, but it does seem uh, a lot... Well, I know why. Probably because they optimize the hell out of it, but... Um, it does feel a lot more polished than it did before when I played the demo. But I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I haven't really got too far into the game quite yet. So I don't know if it's worth the money quite yet. But um, I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it. In a bikini? What neighborhood is that? I know, like, 3 in the morning washing your car? That's asking. That, no. Okay, if you're in a bikini at 3 in the morning washing your car in your local neighborhood... You might be asking for a little bit of a spanking, okay? <laughs> Let's be fair here, all right? Y you might be asking for something. I'm just going to go and casually, like, hop this right behind him. He has no idea. This person's at the window. The one freaking window that I'm trying to break into. You have all the windows in this damn house, and you're at this window at night. That ruins everything for me. That ruins everything. Okay, her, her shift does change in, like, an hour or two. So I guess we're going to have to, like, wait for her shift to change. But that's some BS. Unless there's, like, another window somewhere that I can get on top of or get to. No, I don't think I can get on that. Nope. Okay. Yeah, so this is... Oh, she's going outside right now. Perfect. That worked out perfectly. Okay, yeah, you go outside. Yep, down you go. This is where I where I break in, and this is where I take your bottle of Jack, dude. Oh, you're going outside right there. Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> you're not going to the backyard. You're going to the front yard. Hopefully, you're going somewhere else. Like, are you going... Yeah, you're going to work or something? I don't even know, dude. That's fine. Your husband's about to get robbed, so that's, that's all good. All good in the hood. You should be far away now. Perfect. Check it in. Okay, go in. All right, let's go. Nine dollars. I do low key want to take the. Uh, I won't take the red man. I do low. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we do anything, character. We 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 are forgetting to use our skill points. I want a bigger backpack. Give me a bigger backpack, please. Ten percent more. Yeah, bigger, bigger backpack. That took two skill points. Okay, f me. All right, I was not expecting that. That's fine. Ten percent more. That's good. Okay, give me the money. I, I should probably grab the objective before I, like, snoop around first, right? So I'm going to go ahead and grab the objective first so that I know that I have it. And then I'll, like, do the other things. Okay, give me the bottle. Okay, we got the bottle. My guy's out of breath. Grab the other runman. Very good. Is this another runman? It's a cassette. Cassettes are not very good. Micro... Oh, no, sorry. Headphones. I don't know if headphones are good, money-wise. I'll grab those, though. That's a $12 phone. Eh, too much for me. Sorry. Okay, I'm just keeping an eye on my on that guy. Making sure he doesn't, like, come in and bot me. What is this? A pair of sneakers that are pricey? I'll take it. You should be able to kill people? That would be terrible. <laughs> terrible. I don't want to, like... One thing, I'm already, like, invading their privacy and, like... Like... They'll be traumatized forever. Uh, that's one thing I'm doing. But to, like, just straight up, like, scream them. Like, hash and slash. Like, murder them. Stab Officer Dewey 20 times in the chest. And still survive. We'll take the tape recorders, too. This actually has happened to me in real life, though. Um, I have been sleeping. And somebody has broken in through my window. While we were sleeping. And uh, they did rob us. They took my PlayStation 3. They took my DVD player. They took all my PlayStation games. They took my... Uh, they took... Uh, uh, they took my DVDs. They took my... Uh, 
They took uh, passports. They took social security cards. They took cash from us. And I tell you what, for like years and years and years, we did not feel safe at home until we moved. Then once we moved, then that was good. Like once you get robbed in real life, in your own house, you'll always feel violated and you'll never feel safe in your own house until you move. And that that's that's how it was. Like imagine your safe place supposed to be your home and then in the back of your mind, knowing that uh, somebody knows where you live, somebody knows where all your stuff is, somebody knows how to get into your house and all that, right? It's a very eerie feeling. So after that situation, we moved out of the house right away it's terrible I know straight home invasion simulator at that point right I know right <laughs> you didn't hear anything no nobody in the house heard anything that's what's scary about that is that they were so good they came through the window and they were super, super quiet. Super quiet. It was kind of like, it, like waking up and seeing that your stuff was rummaged through makes you sick to your fucking stomach. I tell you what, it was disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And yeah, nobody heard it. Nobody woke up from it. There was like four of us in the house. Isn't that crazy? And everybody got their stuff jacked. Everybody got their social security guards jacked. Everybody got their passports jacked. Terrible, terrible stuff. Okay. Now, wait a sec. Where am I supposed to deliver this to? To Joel. Yeah, to Joel. Okay, we'll sell this stuff in the pawn shop first. I've been robbed while sleeping twice in my life, and it's scary as hell. So, yeah. See, you exactly know what, what uh, you know. What, uh, what, what, what we're talking about here then? Absolutely. Was it someone you knew? Well, it could have been. It could have been someone you knew. For sure. It could have been someone you knew. But it's something that you just don't ever find out. And we never found out who. But it definitely could be someone that you knew. For sure. There is no doubt that that could be a possibility. But someone you knew. Let's just say if they, they did rob you. Um, they're not going to tell you, <laughs> you know, what's up, man. I got your drink rock on bro. If I remember this tomorrow, I'm going to write a song about you. Oh, how kind of you. <laughs> All right. Very good. Cool. Nice. Um, okay. Nice. Uh, now the beer run, let's do the beer run. It should be, oh, well, well it's not close enough. We got to sleep a little bit more for the beer run, but we're going to do the heist beer run heist my house never been robbed but I have been robbed at gunpoint and I didn't have my gun on me <laughs> Jesus Christ that's terrible absolutely terrible whoops I'm not in the parking spot I got to be in the parking spot okay we got to be here at 10 p.m. for the heist and be um uh, eight there we go it's a good thing we don't have to eat or drink in this game, right? <laughs> That'd be something. Okay, here we go. Heist. No, no, get get into the freaking thing, dude. There we go. Okay, current heist. So, climb to the roof. Check one. Steal the key. Check three. Get the beer from the back room. Check th no. Check two. Check three. Then check four. Begin. Let's go. Requires sneaking clothes. Okay, change my clothes. There we go. Okay, now go. Current heist. Go. Begin. Okay, here we go. We just begin the heist. Who needs cash when you can have that idiot write a song about you? I know, right? <laughs> Step one. Climb. Step two. Get the... Steal the key. Hello, Axo. Axo Gaming. The burger I made earlier was awesome. That sounds pretty good. I'm freaking hungry as it is right now. Okay, so how do I drop down there without him hearing me? I don't think he'd hear me. I just broke my ass? What the hell was that? Okay, maybe be careful next time. 
before jumping off a building? Okay, get the beer crates from the back room. Okay, this man is coming. Okay. Alright, so we just need to be sneaky about this. Hopefully he doesn't see me in the bushes here. Oh my god. Behind the tree we go. Okay, so he's checking that. Very well. Okay. Time left. Oh, this is actually a time limit heist. There's 10 minutes or 8 minutes, 9 minutes. Take that. Okay. I don't know. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Shit, where's the other people? I hear other people. We are stealing beer, we are. <laughs> Coffee machine sounds expensive. I don't know, did they have like, well, I guess that's not an espresso machine. I was gonna say, did they have espresso machines back in the 80s? But that's a coffee machine, so totally different. How the hell am I gonna get this thing out? Whoops. Am I really, how? Oh. There has to be another way. Use the key? Yes. Check the door. Okay, perfect. That works out perfectly. That's how I'm going to get it out. <laughs> Just like that. Done. Okay. Duh. Wonderful. There we go. Hey, Chris Comer. How's it going? How much of the game will you do? Um, I don't know. It really depends on how much uh, people want to watch it and how much people enjoy it. It's very important to hit the like button. It tells me that you want to see more. Of American Theft 80s for sure, yeah. Okay, so that's it. Now I could steal more things here. Let's take some VHS tapes just for the XP, I guess. Take another uh, recorder. Dude, he puts two on his back. That's so cool. I love that. I love how the the burglar actually puts stuff on his back. I would like to take the coffee machine too. Damn it. I should have probably took the coffee machine other than the little other BS, right? That's so good. Okay, let's go. Where are we taking this to? Take the beer to Stacks, which is literally next door. My god, he could have done this himself. Get out of the way! Perfect. Heist done. Nice. Got a lot of XP as well. What is better, Thief Sim or this game? Uh, so far, I'm really enjoying this game a little bit more. And I don't know if it's because it's like the open world type thing. I do like the open world part of it. And um, I like the, I kind of like the theming too. I love the, I love the era. I love the 80s kind of uh, set here. It's kind of cool. You got the part where you steal an RV? Wait a sec. Shady Woods? Town is so expensive. Is that like the next town over? Okay. Talk to Stacks now. Let's go talk to him. Oh, God. We can't do that in our burglar outfit. Let's change our outfit. I don't need to get in the car to change my outfit. Nope. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Hello, buddy. How you doing? How you doing? I've got the beer. I see everything went according to plan. I knew I could do it. I see everything went according to plan. I knew I could do it. You didn't do shit. Pager. Room two in Sunrise Motel. Okay. ASAP. Very well. Again, I'm still a little bit jealous for the people that got to... Ah, don't hit me. Still a little bit jealous of the people that got to live in the era of the uh, pager. I will say. I would have loved to have a pager, even though, like... Look, we have cell phones now, 10 times better. Yeah, but like, a pager would make me feel more, like, more important. Why would a pager make you feel more important? Because somebody has to go out of their damn way just to contact your pager. That means they really want to talk to you. Hello? That sheriff's on the hunt for you. I've decided you need to do a little intervention. They've got a file on Pagers were so annoying. They've got your prints. I've got a plan now. Check those documents I've left in your room.
Don't doctors have pagers? Uh, probably in a, in a medical term. Um, I, like, I would love to, like, oh, shoot, dude, I, someone just paged me. And then, like, I run to the nearest, uh, I run to the nearest, uh, payphone. Buy few bottles from the gas station. Okay. This is kind of strange. Why do they want me to buy a few bottles from the gas station? Buy a few bottles from the gas station? Six? That's more than a few, but that's all right. I guess a few could be anything. Why do they want me to buy from... Is there something going to happen here? Like the sheriff going to pop out and like slap me across the face? Hello? Excuse me, ma'am? Shop clerk, how can I help you? Uh, I'm here to buy apparently six bottles. Finish police station heist. Uh oh, police station heist. Okay. I guess we go to the police station and do a heist. Oh shit! And do a heist. That's way up here, right? That's where we escaped earlier. I think. Can zoom? Oh, that's pretty smart. Wait a sec. Is this where the police station is? Yeah, the police station is up here. Past the bridge, I guess. Time to get turnt. Good shout. <laughs> okay, here we go. What, what time do we have to be here? 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. We're a little bit past that. Can we park here, though? Is this a parkable area? This is not a parkable area. That probably would be very inappropriate to do at a police station. But hey, this is. Okay, sleep. We'll go to... 2200. Here we go. Pull it through. Pull in. Hey -oh. Okay, what do we need for this? Let's see. Current heist. We need a hammer, sneaking clothes, and a bottle. Okay, well, we have that. So let's change our equipment to sneaking clothes and a hammer. And let's start this bad boy. So, first things first. Disable the power. Okay. Second thing second. Uh, distract the policeman with a bottle. You're telling me I bought six bottles just to throw? Three, get the files. Four, go to the delivery spot. Okay, here we go. I am assuming this is a right spot. So we have 10 minutes to pull this off. Okay. So let's go. We have our sneaking clothes on. We just need to hit the power switch. Use the key. Apparently, I still have the key. That's very, very useful. <laughs> Since when I broke out of jail. Okay. We're we'll run over here real quick. We got to distract this, the guard after this. Probably would be like a police officer, not like a guard. Distract the police man with a bottle. Very good. Uh, cancel. Okay, where's the police man? I don't know exactly if he's going to be inside or outside. So the power is off. So that probably means we can walk inside, right? Usable items. How do we pull that up? R to select the item. Okay, R. Okay, let's see here. We have to get to that back door. So this is probably like non-usable, right? No, you can still use the key for this. Okay. I see. I see. Okay, I'm looking at the map now. So I don't know if I really want to open that and go through there. Maybe I do. Maybe? I mean, I don't think I have a key to this. No? I shouldn't. No. Okay, good. Glad we're on the same page there. Let's just go to that back door. Yeah, let's not try to, like, finesse the game here. Let's try to, like, do what it wants us to do. So this. Use the hammer. The whole point of having the hammer. Bop. Bop. Surprise. I'm not. Bop it. Okay, that's good. Good bop. Okay, there's the officer. Let's make sure we uh, target him. So we know where he's going to go at all times. Okay. So we want to distract him. Oh, shit. How are we going to distract him and where are we going to distract him? It's a great question. 
I think there's first person in this game, right? I'm pretty sure there's first person in this game. I just haven't, like, figured that out. I, maybe. There might be. There might be. Forgot the controls. I really could just check. Hang on a sec. Hang on. Let me, let me, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm pretty sure there's fir uh, first person, yeah? Key mapping. Sneak, jump, jump, use. Maybe not. Select. Look down, look horizontal, left, right, right, left, left, right. Toggle. V. F. Send it. Let's go. We're in first person now. Okay. Distract this man. How would I distract him? I mean, I know how, but where? Um. Let's go bottle. There's something broke back there, dude. It's on. What? What? I just. Excuse me, sir. You need to recognize that right there. There you go. This is where I go. This is where I go. You see me go? I go. You watch? Haha. -ha. How you like them apples, dude? And then I go right here and I say open up and I'm in the back door. And now you like it. I'm in the back door. She didn't appreciate that I was in the back door, but I, you know, that was what we agreed on after we had uh, steak and lobster. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ah! Okay, put nothing in your hand before you accidentally throw a bottle at this guy. <laughs> okay, tag him. Okay, we figured him out. Okay, let's go back into third person here. Steal the headphones? Kind of tempted. I'll be real with you. Kind of tempted. Radio? I will take the radio. Yeah, I will take the radio. Money on the counter? Yeah, I'll take that. Their DoorDash? They probably didn't have 80s DoorDash. Actually, they did have 80s DoorDash. It was called Domino's. Okay. So I could technically actually distract this son of a gun too. If I really wanted to. Which I'm going to. No, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait. You know what? No, I don't need to distract him. I'm fine. I'll just uh, go that way when he turns around. I wasn't alive with pagers. I'm so happy the early 2000s kids. Oh, shit. Okay. Axel Gaming, are, are you talking about American Theft or are you talking about uh, Thief Simulator? Which, which game are you talking about? 93 had pagers, I'm assuming. Just bought it. Looks too fun to pass up. Good shout. You were born in 2003? Uh, excuse me, what? Are we in a generation terms where I'm interacting with... <laughs> I'm interacting with adults? Let's see here. Interacting with adults that are post 9-11? That scares the crap out of me. Doesn't scare me. More of like, holy hell. Uh, there's a generation that wasn't alive for 9-11. Uh, I specifically remember 9-11. We had a candle vigil and I burnt myself terribly in my driveway. Hey, Tech Gaming, how you doing? You're playing American Theft 80s? Okay, okay, good shout. Okay, how am I gonna get this guy? I, I might have to actually distract this guy. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, well, actually, you know what? He probably won't see me, now thinking about it. Yeah, he won't see me. VHS player, my god. Calculator. There's the files. Okay, so we got the files. We have four minutes until we're done. Or four minutes until, uh, you know, until that's it. I'm going to grab this cassette player again. And then calculator. And then I'm going to bump out of here. Okay, just go. You should be able to open this up, like, quietly. Jump out, please. There we go. And then just walk out casually. No big deal. There we go. <laughs> Turn the headlights on. Yeah, not suspicious at all. Let's get the hell out of here, dude. I was in third grade. Me too. I was in school when it happened. We all sat and watched it on a rollout TV in the TV classroom. 
Yes, I was after 9-11, thank God, because I live in New York City. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was working outside. My God. So, hey, we did that. Wonderful. Talk to Stax. Oh, my God. Son of a gun. Let's go talk to Stax. Come on, Stax. What do you got? What do you got, buddy? I know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. Get out. We're going to drop off. Oh, crap. We actually changed our outfit first. Change our outfit, and then we're going to drop off all the stuff that we have that we stole from a police station. I will say, most of the items in this game seem very uh, repetitive, as in, like, what you can steal and whatnot. That's all right. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't mind it, but I could see, like, maybe other people being like, oh, I, I get tired of stealing the same stuff over and over, like the same cassette player over and over. But I don't mind it personally. How you doing? Don't ever tell me that again. What's up? I'm all good, man. But you gotta hustle. You go meet a fella I like to call the merchant. The merchant? You steal shit and sell it to him. He's got real money. If you bring him what he needs. Okay, so another new, I guess, technical character here. The merchant. We could sell to the merchant instead of to the pawn shop. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm all for it. The merchant. Let's see. Let's talk to the merchant. Oh, he's on the other side of the pawn shop. Ah, weird guy in a black van. Very well. Is this uh? Is this uh? What's his face? Uh, what's his name? Uh. Very good character. Odie? Is it Odie or Ode? Ode? Ode from Sons of Anarchy? You know who I'm talking about, right? Stack sent me. He said. Uh, you know, the, the guy where he gets his wife killed in the drive-by by the club? And he gets super mad? Basically, he gets screwed out through the... He's, like, one of the best characters, though. Ode? Is that his name? Ode? Stack sent me. He said you can tell me what you need. Okay. Get me stuff from my list, and I'll pay you simple. Okay. How's it going? Uh, what the hell do you want? What are you buying? You want headphones? You want basically everything that's in store. Okay, so this is very, very similar to uh, to Thief Simulator in a way. Okay, I, I got it. I got it. Very good. So earn trusted reputation with Bar 66. So the way I'm going to get that is through basically going through him. I'm going to get reputation for it, right? 10 reputation, 10 re So I just need to go break into somebody's house, really, and let that be it. So now I got to go do some random free roam break-ins. Yeah, look at the look at the tires, dude. They might fix the tires though. They might. Oh my god, this freaking bot is back again. Are you actually kidding me? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. YouTube needs to jump on that like fast and furious. This is like two streams now where this bot just comes and spams and I'm sick and tired of it. YouTube, get your shit together. I'm calling you out now. Have bots more hard. Make bots, make it harder for bots to figure it out. Now, what I might have to do is increase my time limit for uh, chat. Like, they need to be subscribed for a longer amount. I'm already trying to prevent pot bots in chat by just having it on subscribe only. Like, chat subscriber only. So, if anyone ever thinks of that, like, why does this guy have a subscriber only chat? It's basically to deter bots like that. But apparently that still isn't working, so I'm gonna need to probably lengthen the um, lengthen the time on the subscribe chat, which is very unfortunate. But it's very irritating. Opie, yeah, Opie, that's his name. Opie, yeah, Opie. Okay, let's see here. This place is very well lit. This is a place we haven't been into yet. So I'm kind of just scoping it out right now. <laughs> Overpriced Tinder. <laughs> Prevent pot. <laughs> I've seen some of these channels are flooded with those. It's ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. If it comes up again, I might have to increase the timer. 
So there's not really much option here other than I think the front door. I think that's like our only option. Because they're pretty much barricaded. They're very well barricaded here. Even though I pulled up into their driveway, yeah. It's gonna be well lit though. Might be an electrician thing that we could probably get away with as well. But uh, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to uh, excuse me, what? Can I not use my hammer on this doorknob? Doesn't look like it, huh? Okay, maybe I don't try to break into these people's house. Maybe I go to a house that I know that it's very easy to get into just to steal a few things. Like, one of the first houses we broke into. You know what? I'm going to that old guy's house. Yeah. I'm going to that old guy's house. That was a very simple house to break into. How's your day been? Uh, my day has been good. Uh, playing some uh, American Theft 80. Super excited. Release day. Finally here. Been uh, waiting for this game for a while now. So, yeah. That's how my day's going. Okay, here we go. Now, this guy doesn't hear a damn thing. I can steal anything from him. Like, I, he probably fixed his doorknob. But, look. His doorknob's about to get wrecked again. Sorry, sir. That's just the way of life. I'm here to get reputation from my bar 60, 66 fellows. There we go. Sick. All right, so really anything is kind of up for grabs. That's kind of what the merchant wants right now. So I'm going to basically take anything I see in sight. What time is it? 4.52 a.m. He might come into the house soon. So I should probably go fast. Oh, shit. There's search here. Uh, put that. Close, close, close. Open. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is such a waste of time. This is a waste of time. Okay, what is this? Cassettes? Eh, sure. Money. Money. This guy doesn't have a lot. But that's alright. Oh, I'm just scared he's gonna walk into the house. Super, super soon. Could go here. Okay, we can hide in there. That's a good shout. Right, get more cassettes. Get that money up there. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Nope, nope, nope. Let's go into the other room before he sees us. Can I take your shoes? I can. Good. Grab your shoes. Go, 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 go! In the bathroom. Nothing in the bathroom. Why would I think there's something in the bathroom? Very well. Okay. That's pretty much it. Not a lot here. A few things here and there. I mean, I guess I could search the cupboards while I have the time. But I doubt... Eh, five bought Five dollars. Doubt I'll find anything, really. Uh, nothing there. Close that. Grab this. Close that. This is honestly worthless. Thank you. And... Thank you. Now, one thing I could probably... Oh, wait. He doesn't have his TV in here anymore. Because I took it and threw it out in the backyard. Is it still out here in the backyard? It is still out here in the backyard. God, I feel like an asshole. Can I throw that over? <laughs> That's hilarious. I feel bad for this guy, though. Uh, we'll just leave the TV back here still. What the hell did I just do? All right. We'll go back to the merchant now. This might be enough reputation for us. Let's go. Back to the merchant. Excuse me. Driving through all the trees. There we go. Feels like Trader Life Simulator. Driving through all the trees again. I got... Oh, shit! I almost literally killed somebody. My God. Okay. Merchant. Here we go. Steal the counters. After this, you go to Shady Woods. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Here you go, my man. How's it going? Uh, I got some stuff for you. Uh, I got... Uh, what the hell did I get? Nothing. Did I literally get nothing for you? I did. I got nothing. Son of a gun. Well, that's not your fault there, merchant. That's my fault. I just assumed that you would have took everything, but you're not taking everything. That's fine. Thank you. That was just for extra money. That's for practice, I guess. God damn it. All right, well, you know who I'm going to? I'm going to go across the street to the uh, to the photographer's house. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go to the photographer's house. Actually, you know what? There was this house. The electrician house. We did find a way. We actually have a key to, this, to these people's houses, too. To this people's house. It is the middle of daytime. 
But I might be able to do this. So we have two people in. One person outside. Still outside. Now if I check the shift. The shift will change. But he's going to leave soon. So that's not bad. Okay. I think I'm going to do this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I should be able to find some valuable stuff here. And I should be able to get into their house because I have their key. I did. I did mint Opie. Thank you. Hello, Blondie McLovin. Uh, use the key. Usually, I usually I get quite a few viewers on uh, launch days on games. That's why I like to stream uh, games on launch day. So that, you know, some people can get an idea of what they want to see in a game particularly that they're interested in before they buy it yeah so that was one i know radio might be one i can't remember what kind of shoes uh i really can't remember if it was white sneakers or not i'm kind of going to skip on that i'll go upstairs to see if there's anything else if you hit a person nothing happens well that's sad okay hang on a sec this might get spicy here Okay. I think those... Oh, God. No, no, no. No, no, no. I think these shoes is what I need. Yes. Request. So, it actually says request on it. Tape recorder. Request. Headphones. Request. Very, very good. Okay. Good job, game. Good job. I'm glad that the game tells you that it's actually a request item. TV. Request. Uh, yeah, but, like, how? That. Teacher toy. Request. Very good. I mean, can I unlock the door? cancel i can't unlock the door the only way i'm going out the door here is if this is broken open which okay right we got a few things let's go ahead and come down here we got a few things not a lot of things we're here for 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 a little time good time not for a bad time <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about now our inventory is completely full though those were requested so vhs tapes were requested I i'm actually interested can you um, drop items that you have? Assets? No. Character? We have two skill points. Fantastic. Um, let's do sharp senses. And let's do endurance. There we go. Cool. It doesn't seem like we can drop anything that we have on our inventory. That's all right. At least there's. I don't think there's a way. Okay. Emma's going to the kitchen. I'm going to go to the merchant now. I don't know where the... I think the other guy left, so I think we're good to go. Yeah, we're probably good to go. Big ambi ambition for a demo. There was a lot in it. Oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, big ambition uh, is going to uh, be dropping a few betas uh, for the next uh, couple months until it releases on early access. I'm pretty sure it's going to be early access game in August. But my God, that is a game I am just like super excited for that game is so cool i've i've tweeted i tweeted it before it's probably going to be one of my most uh, anticipated games of the year yeah hello my good man how's it going i have what you want now deliver your teacher toy uh deliver this for 10 rep thank you oh i needed two headphones okay now i just need one more headphone i guess uh kitchen Nothing in the kitchen. Clothes. I did get the shoes derby, but there was only one. Cool. So I think I only got 10 reps. So I'm going to need another headphone. I'm going to need a couple of other things still. Right? Yeah. This gives me uh, trust with the bar, no? Or does it not? Yeah, this does give me trust with the bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So you could track these things too. Interesting. So there's $60. Okay. $60, right? That gives me a reputation of 95, so we're five away now. All right. Uh, still need to go get a couple more things. I'm going to probably go to maybe the photographer's house now just to change it up a bit. Have a good night, Peter. Have a good rest of your night. Yeah, I'm going to go to the photographer's house now. Get a little bit of spice action. Spice girls, please. Let's see here. 
These guys piss me off, though, I will tell you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Somebody sees me in shading clothing. Uh, my bad. I don't mean to be in shady clothing for you. That's a very, like... Like, you're, you're very, you're assuming a lot out of me if you, if you think this is shady clothing. Okay, so let's see here. Give me the crowbar so I can pop this window. Right? We want to pop this window. Yep, yep, yep. You should be upset. You should be upset. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, Angela? That's right. You're just going to sigh and walk away. Sigh and walk away. That's right. That's right. Sigh and walk away. Where are you at? I'm going to come into your house regardless. Run, man. Grab the request. Old shoes, not requested. I did not sell stuff at the pawn shop because I'm an actual idiot. Son of a bitch. I uh, love that. Love that indeed. Damn it. You're lucky, Angela. I have to go back and sell some stuff. You're lucky. Damn it. Mmm. At least we know there's like an easy way to getting getting into that house though. I will drop off the one thing from the to the merchant though. Yeah, that was very poor. I agree. I forgot to sell all the stuff. Hello, good man. Uh, I have one thing for you. Yeah, one item. It is a run man. There you go. Delivered. Thank you. And then I will sell the rest. Let's see here. Uh, no, 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 no. Yep. VHS player and radio. There you go. $1,500. Looking good. Okay, let's go back to the photographer's house. Have a good night, James. Have a good one. You do take it easy as well. Xbox has some cool games coming out in the next few months. They do. They do. I would have to agree. There are some cool ones that I'm looking at. I, I, I also tweeted out... Uh, a few games from the Xbox showcase that I'm actually looking forward to. I forgot w which ones they were. Now thinking about it, but there was a couple I'm actually kind of excited about. Okay, go inside. Okay, here we go. Figure out what Angela's gonna do. Wherever she's at, and her husband. I have no idea. I see a teacher toy. I don't know if I need that one again, but these are the shoes I need. There you go. I don't need a second pair. I already have the second pair. That's fine. I'll just take the one pair. This is a teacher toy request. I can't remember if this is the one I need or not. I'm going to take it anyways. There's a crock pot. I do need that. Or a slow cooker. VHS tapes. I need those. A big ass TV is something I do need as well. I don't know where the like people at the house are. I'm just kind of going through their stuff pretty fast now, ain't I? I hear them. I do hear them. VHS tapes. I need multiple VHS tapes. I think they're in the room over there. I think they're in the kitchen. Or she's in the kitchen. I do need a telephone. I do need a telephone. Oh my god. I'm scared. Anything in the bathroom? I don't think there's anything ever in the bathroom. Okay. Okay. I know she's in the kitchen. Grab the telephone. Okay, we're at full inventory. Okay, let's bump out of here. We're gonna bump out of here. Full inventory, ready to go. Get me out. Get me out. Okay. Very fast, very easy, very smooth. This is probably gonna, yeah, this is gonna give us the reputation that we need. For our uh, route, or not route 66, our bar 66. Wrong thing. What's our score on that? A D. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. All right. So we know we've completed the shoes, at least. Yeah. Hello, my good man. I am here to give you what you need. You are to have uh, VHS tapes. Oh, I guess I didn't need multiple VHS tapes. I thought I did. We'll deliver that. Um, do, 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 do. Deliver the phone and then, then kitchen will deliver all that. Thank you. Slow cooker, deliver this, deliver that, and that's good. Okay, reputation should be good to go. Very good to go. Let's go ahead and talk to Stacks. 
I'm in suspicious clothing. Hopefully no one minds. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Well, about that friend of yours. You're a real pro now. I'm gonna set you up now with Raymond. He's an entrepreneur, which is French or Latin or something. And it means he's got money. That, okay. He's in the car business, if you know what I mean. Sure, dude. All right, so go to Raymond's Used Autos in Shady Woods. Looks like we're headed on over to Shady Woods. Let's go. All right, back it up. Guess it's off to the north. Go check it out. On our way. You've been hit. You've been hit by struck by a smooth criminal. Dun 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 Smooth criminal. Whoa, this is kind of cool. Wait a sec. I thought there was going to be like a loading screen of some sort. Really? There isn't. Interesting. It's just a full, uh, full send. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, I thought there was going to be like a, um, a little bit of a loading process there. No. Nice. Good job. Good job, game. Let's go through here. This is a weird road. Raymond's. Raymond's let's see what he wants he wants us to steal cars probably right yeah giddy up park here at Raymond's used cars hello how are you what are you doing you're leaving have a good day I'll see you later yeah 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 I know it's hot in here it is, it is, yeah I'm hot in here yeah thank you that fan. You'll come back now. Oh, that feels good. How do you? Yeah, that man. feels good. How may I help you? I heard you need cars. See ya. Well, by gum, I do. Matter of fact, I got me a late order. I sent out a guy to bring in a pickup, and you know what he does? He calls me from jail. <laughs> he gets one phone call, and he calls me. And what do you think I did? I said, "You got the wrong number, son." <laughs> You go find me one of these, and I'll pick up pay truck. you a little finder's fee. Okay. So buy a lockpick from the pawn shop. They better have a pawn shop in this store. Or this, uh, this, uh, this town. I'm not driving all the way back to Route 66 or Bar 66 just to just to buy a damn mock pick what up Kevin what's this game about um, it's about being a thief in uh, being a thief in the 80s yeah 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 it's an open world uh, thief kind of game like a thief sim you know if you've ever seen or heard a thief simulator it's kind of like that but this is more open world Starfield looks like a uh, looks like a <laughs> looks good uh, Starfield uh, I, 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 graphically and all that, I mean, looks exactly like, uh, the Outer Worlds, looks like, uh, Fallout 4, mechanically, like, gameplay-wise, there's a couple of gameplay things in that game that I'm, I'm kind of excited about, but, um, you know, uh, I think, uh, character, uh, customization character uh, storyline and story uh, backup with the whole factions and all that I think it's gonna be really good uh, the fact that you can create your own freaking ship and fly it is gonna be pretty good kind of reminds me of no man's sky too as well okay I would like to sell you my teacher toy and my VHS tapes and then I would also like to buy a lock pick 500 of them $500 worth yeah five of them please test it out yeah I like to test it out Let's see here. How do you lockpick in this game? Whoa. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. Very simple. Very easy. Got it. Seal the car key from 402. Do, are you a cop? Can I buy intel from you? 
Got a problem with the law? No, I just need some info, yo. Uh, 402. $50. God damn. Let's see here. 402. Uh, purse black. Pricey. Okay, so that's a new item. Purse black. That's a new item. Safe with valuables. Uh, they keep the spare apartment key on the first floor wall board. Okay. You can get to the balcony from the roof. Okay. Everybody seems to be here. Oh, they have a guard here. Okay, so Adam and the guard. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Adam actually leaves at a little bit of time between the hours of 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. Not too bad. Okay, all right. So let's see here. Let's go to, uh, let's go see if we can bop this. And take this freaking car, dude. Probably be best to take the car maybe during the hours of 8 p.m. There's the truck. Wait, that's the truck right there, right? Just parked outside. 402. That's the truck, yeah? No? Someone sees you in burglar clothes? Oh shit, I forgot I'm in a town now. <laughs> I'm not in a I'm not in the sub suburbans now. I'm in like downtown. Okay, very well. So what do we have here? A lock pick that we could po possibly do through here. Very good. Alright, let's go with... Let's go here. Let's go lock pick and try this out. Oh, God. Oh. Wait a sec. Oh, God. This is definitely not what I was expecting. What? I thought there was going to be, like, the, the green thing to help me out through the entire time. Uh-oh. Uh... Uh... What the heck is this, dude? Okay, uh, tool broke? I would have hoped so. Um, right. Oh, God damn it. Now, oh, God. Oh, God. The pol Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, police are definitely around here more often. Got that. Noted. Um, I want to go back to the pawn shop and test that out again. That is uh, not what I was expecting. I thought it was going to keep the little uh, tool tips there when I actually did it. Okay, that's interesting. Oh my effing god, dude. Dude, dude. It's back again! I know. The, 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 the bots, man. The bots. I don't know, man. I don't know what, uh, what the deal is on that. But I'm going to test out the lockpick again because I really do not know how they want that to go. Don't even at me. Don't even call the police on me, you, you, you snitch. Okay, let's see here. Test it again. Use it again. Okay, does it tell me anything? So push the pin to position... Push the pin to the position marked by the arrow. Okay. Is it supposed to be like that through all of the locks? Okay. So, I assume that's how it's supposed to be through all the locks, right? Okay, I see. I see. Okay, I think I understand it now. I think I understand it. This is kind of silly, no? Alright, so now let's make our way back to that damn place with people snitching on us. I know I don't have my car. It's kind of, like, bad that I don't. 
We'll go back this way again. Okay. I don't know. I, I It's weird. It's very, very weird. Indeed. Let's see here. Hopefully now I'll be able to do this. If I'm understanding it correctly. So lockpick. Okay, there. 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 Okay, I understand it now. I get it. Let's go inside. I get it. I get it now. There was very, very, like, lack of description. If anyone... Oh, shit. If anyone would get, like, um... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I don't know where he's going. Yep, he's going right there. There's a little bit of lack of description in case anybody, like, trying to figure that, that out on their own. Okay, let's go up now. So the key is upstairs. But we can get in from the balcony, it said, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it said. I'm just going to take a look through here. Let's see what's going on in the front here. Grab a little bit of cash. Got the cash. Get the stash. I wonder if there's a merchant at this pawn shop. $56 is sitting there. Kind of sick, dude. I'm afraid to grab things now that I know I can't drop things in case like, oh, here's a better item, right? Of course, I picked up a damn calculator. As soon as I said that, that was ridiculous. Okay, so there's the cop. Which way he's looking? Or the guard? Oh, there's the, the yeah, right there. Give me that key. Cool. Okay, we got the key. Got the key. Look at that. Take us to the back, yeah? What is this? A cell phone? Yo! Vice City me, baby. Sick. Okay, very good. That's our first cell phone we found, too. I like it. Alright. So we have a key. This man is all the way upstairs now. Is that like three stories up? I think he's three stories up. Okay, he's coming down. He's coming down. He's coming down. He's coming down. Go inside. TV there. Don't need it. Yo. That's kind of cool. Skateboard that's pricey. Hell yeah. Hell to the yeah. Adam's going to the bedroom now. I don't know where the bedroom is. But Adam is going there. Okay. He might be coming inside here. Is this the bedroom? Okay, this is action. Use the key. Use it. Use it. Use it. Uh, the burglar detected. Are you actually sure about that? Hey, hmm. are you sure? Burglary detected from what, please? And thank you. What did I do wrong? Do not come in here. Do not come in here. Please do not come in here. $95 is sitting there on the table. Please don't come in here. Officer is here. Police officer is here. Is it because I tripped a burglar alarm? What is happening? Oh my god. I'm about to take your other skateboard here, jackass. I just took your other skateboard. Is that like I don't know if that's a if that's the police sirens or if this guy has an actual alarm system in his house. Cause I don't know how I was detected there. But that's all right. We're going to be okay. Other than now, we're in the same damn room as the guy. Oh, no, we're not. Okay, good. Safe with valuables in it. Okay, where does this guard go? His guard's going downstairs, right? Okay, guard's going downstairs. There's the key for the pickup. The man got up. Lay back down. Take his keys. Got the keys. Low-key kind of want to steal this cell phone, but we're going to open the safe, maybe? No, we don't have safe cracking tools. Okay, fine. I'll take your cell phone instead. The guard is coming back up. I run into the bathroom. Okay, very good. There's a black purse. Blue purse. Damn it. Inventory full. Now I really wish I could drop stuff. 
Okay, there's the balcony. That's the balcony that uh, the game told us about. Now, I low-key kind of want to, like, get into here. Just so I know where it takes us. There we go. Open up. Go out. Where can we get from here? We can jump out the balcony? Oh. That's what it does. Okay, it's just an easier way to escape. We just break a leg in the middle of the road with a bunch of skateboards running our back and a crowbar. Somebody driving by. They don't mind. All right, then we grab the stolen car. So you want to get rid of the stolen car as fast as you can. Police will patrol the patrol the area looking for it. Okay. Okay, use the key. Okay, drive. Drive to Raymond's as fast as you can. Everybody loves Raymond. Here we come. Let's go. Go this way. Did we get an S tier on that? We got an F on that. I got an F on that? I got terrible? No. I thought I did pretty good for the circumstances. Into the garage I go. There you go. Okay, talk to Raymond. Holy crap. That was a lot, dude. That was definitely a lot. Hello, Raymond. Howdy, young man. Uh, How may I help you? I got the car for you, dude. Them youngins, I tell you. When I was a boy, we didn't have no goddamn VHS and 8-track. If you were bored, you had to get your pea shooter and pop off a prairie dog or tip over the sheriff's horse or whatever. How long ago were you born? I gotta get my boy out the door and into the great outdoors and teach him how to drive and shoot an elk. So I'll need you to rustle me up a camper. Oh, shit. Go to lot 404, and don't forget your bolt cutters. So we got to go buy some bolt cutters. Very well. Uh, I don't have a car here. Uh, so can I call my car? Oh, there's a tow truck symbol here. Maybe that brings me my car. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, $38 to tow the son of a gun? Damn, dude. All right, let's change our equipment so we don't like get our asses kicked anymore. There we go. No, 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 no. Get me inside. All right, let's go sell some stuff at the pawn shop. Then we'll head on over to, well, we have to go to the pawn shop anyways to buy the bolt cut cutters. We'll do all that. Oh, baby. Rolling in our Geo Metro. It's not really a Geo Metro, I know, but I just wish it was a Geo Metro, please. I wish it was. I wish it was. I wish it was a baller. I wish it was a little bit taller. That actually says Blockbuster on it. Blockbusters? Ah, I see. Th no. No, no, no. This is not where you park your car. Get out. Get in. I hit the tree. I took out the fire hydrant. <laughs> okay, here we go. Park right here. Okie dokie. All right. We have a couple skateboards on our back. I'm kind of curious to see how much money we get for these skateboards, yeah? Have a good night, uh, tech uh, tech gaming, or tech. I kept I keep forgetting to just say tech. Okay, run man, good, good. Cell phone, $88, that's really good. $242 for the pricey skateboard and then 154 for the other one. Sick, I'll take it. Bolt cutters, 1,030, bought it, got it. One more. Let's buy one more uh, lockpick while we're here. There we go. All right. So steal the car key from 404. Where is 404? Is that across the street? Let's see. 404. Yeah, it's kind of across the street. Let's get a little bit of uh, information. Might as well spend this money, baby. Keep the economy going. Uh, I need some on 404, please. There you go. Very good. What's his uh, information on 404? Two people, shop clerk and Michael, apparently. Uh, typing computer, very pricey. A red purse, that's very pricey. And a safe with valuables. We just don't have the ability to do much with the, with the safe anyways. Is this or Simulator Thief 1 better? Um, I haven't played enough of this game to, to tell if it's better than Thief Sim 1. But I do have to say, I myself like the 80s era. I like the open world aspect. I think so far, what I've seen is Thief Simulator is more of a, uh, more of a hardcore stealth-ish type of game, more detailed, I think. Uh, this one, 
not so much, I guess, but I'm I'm liking this game a lot. I am. I'm liking this game a lot. I like it kind of more than Thief Sim 1 because I don't, I don't know. I just like the open world aspect of it myself. Uh, so that's just a that's just a me preference. But is it better? I'm not sure yet. I, I, I haven't made that judgment on it, on it yet. Okay, so now we have our nighttime outfit in. Even though we should probably sleep if we can. Can we sleep here? Is this a place to sleep? This is not a place to sleep. Let's go up a little bit more to sleep real quick. Bro, you just got ripped off adjusting the inflation. You just bought a $3,000 pair of bolt cutters. <laughs> I know, I didn't really, I didn't really uh, think about that, huh? I didn't think about, uh, oh, hey, the bolt cutters are $1,000. That's true. <laughs> That's funny. All right, here we go. So 405, 404. We want to go to 404 in the back, please. Yeah, let's go uh, inside. Yeah. Let's go inside here. This way. And over. Oh, look at this. How cool is this? Oh, sick. Nice. Why would you leave your car keys up here? Oh, because you're up here. Got it. Okay, here we go. So this might be a time where I actually distract. He's actually taking a piss on the roof. Okay. You know, Apu would not appreciate that if you did that on his gas station. I know we're not on his gas station, but uh, this is interesting. So his car key to his RV is right there. We have a gate down below, and then we have the typing computer at the very, very bottom. Okay, right. So I assume, let's see here. I assume this guy, Michael, is going to take a piss every 10 seconds. He might need to get that checked out by his local doctor. By his home doctor, but that's like very, very fast. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh great. He's switching routines now. Okay, cool. I don't know how long he's going to stay there. Okay, he goes back pretty fast. Okay. All right. And then he sits down. Interesting. Okay, so I see I see what I need to do here. I do. I do. I'm going to pull out the bottle. I'm going to wait till he comes right here and then I'll make a distraction maybe, possibly, if I can. So that he'll go down that way. I'll grab his car keys and like jump off the roof or something. I don't know. Do some Spider-Man shit in the 80s. Okay, here we go. Okay, this isn't working out. Hmm. I'm an idiot. What just happened? How did he not hear me? Is he an idiot? Maybe we're both idiots? <laughs> I... I don't... I, I don't... I don't know how I just did that. Okay. But I did it. I got his car key, dude. Alright. Very well. Um, I would like to get on this floor. What do we need for this? I need a crowbar. I don't have a crowbar. I have the bolt cutters on me like you asked me to. Alright. Very well. We'll go this way. I guess we'll go another way. All right. Well, we have the car key at least. Jesus Christ. Oh, I see. Okay. So, uh, okay. I see. I see. Okay. I, I see what we have here. Very well. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the front-ish. So, the gate. Okay. So, the gate needs to be cut. There's the RV. So, we can, we can steal it now if we really wanted to. But there's also... Oh, God. There's also... Just go for it. Um, we were not taught on how to cut the chain. Is there a specific way I need to do this? No, just hit it, dude. Okay, very good. Okay, these are done. I, I want to steal the other stuff, though. So we're going to go lockpick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Open. Go inside. All right. Now let's steal the stuff. What is that? 
a a, a katosh a katish ear F it, it's earrings. I'm taking it. Open that up. Okay, I don't know what's gonna happen here. We get spicy again. This man's just chilling. Shop clerk. What time is it? 11.04? Are you still open? Is that why you're here? I can break into there. I'm not going to. I don't need to. I'm gonna go upstairs. I mean, the only thing that's in there is that typing computer. But am I, like, stressing over a typing computer? No. I can go up here with, the, like, some valuables, a purse that's red. Yeah, I'd rather be in here. Less stress. Right? Less stress. There we go. Come on now. There you go. Giddy up. Good job. This guy's never going to leave the roof. <laughs> I feel like. Okay. Request telephone, but that's to our merchant, which uh, right now I don't even know if it's even like worth doing right now because it's like in another town. I don't know if there's another merchant here. I haven't checked yet. Yo, the video computer. Is that what it's called? Video computer? Still another safe. Can't do anything about it. Don't have the safe cracking cracking tools. A, a camera? Yeah, I'll take that. Those are probably very expensive. There's another telephone. This is a cordless phone this time. That's probably expensive. Let's see here. There's the red purse that we wanted. Perfect. Pricey red purse. We'll just grab a joystick. Why not? Coffee machine sounds expensive, so I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to take it. Yeah. Because we haven't used the coffee machine yet. I want to see what the price is on them. What is this? A bedroom or a bathroom? It's a bedroom. Oh, the skateboard. Sick. Nice. And Oh, nice. Earrings. More money. Very good. What the hell is that? Can't even see that. It's a slide projector? No, I'm not in math class anymore. Give me the skateboard instead. Hey, we have a full inventory. Uh, <laughs> dare I jump off the... Yes. I'm not afraid. Okay, now let's get into the camper. And let's go, dude. Let's bump out of here. Okay, action. Use the key. Let's go. Deliver the... Yeah, camper to the... To, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Yeah, you didn't hear shit! <laughs> 911, someone just stole my camper? He definitely Robin Williams RV'd my ass? You damn right I did. You damn right I did. You see me how I came out of there? You ever seen the movie where he like tries to pull out of his own driveway and he smashes into the neighbor's mailbox? I did more than that. Okay, where do I put this? In here? Uh, is the clearance going to be okay? I guess so. Jesus. Very trustworthy there, my man. Uh, this is good, yeah? Talk to Raymond. Let me inside. Uh, Raymond, I have your RV for you. How may I help you? I've got your car. Thanks, partner. You're welcome. I'm driving this to Death Valley. You in the movies, son? Sure. I saw me one today, and my God, what a car. Driving through time like it's a German highway. Now everyone wants a car like that, and only one feller in town has got one. Go to lot 401, and if you need something to get in there, check out my arsenal. Check out your arsenal? Howdy, young man. Wait, 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 wait. What do you have? A car unlocking kit? Okay, I could get that. Just let me go sell a couple of things. Oh, there's a test the lock thing. Very well. Mm. Okay. Can I steal from you? Oh, no. He's actually here. <laughs> it's a card. Okay, so buy car unlocking tools for Raymond, which we will be able to do once we go to the pawn shop first. Got to tow our vehicle back here for $47. Jump into some new clothes. Give me the casuals. There we go. Into the car. Go back to the pawn shop. Come back to Raymond's. Buy the car unlocking tool set. And then be on our freaking way. Very good. So far, so good. I thought, honestly, I would have had way more trouble than I have already. But it kind of seems like the uh, when you get caught by police system, it's pretty forgiving or very um, sporadic. Um, cause we saw when the police officer was chasing us and went into the, into the apartment that we were in. Well, he didn't really chase us, but when we were in the apartment that we were in and we were hiding in the kitchen, like he went into the kitchen, but he was like super fast. He's like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Right. And then he ran out very quickly. So I don't know. Maybe that will be adjusted when I have for sale, uh, sell you the earrings. 
Camera for $90. Red purse for $217. Joystick. Coffee machine, $37. So that really wasn't worth it in the grand scheme of things. Okay. Cool. All right. There we go. All right. Let's go buy ourselves an unlocking kit now. Or unlocking tool. Whatever the hell you want to call it. All right. Let's back it up. Pull it out. Wait. Can I drive first person? No. Yo, I can. Sick. I should have been driving first person in that camper, dude, as I busted through the gate. That would have been cool. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming in. Hey, yo. I'm driving so fast. This thing has great brakes on it, by the way. It's probably a Kia. Okay, hello. I would like to buy Howdy, that from you. Man. I don't know what it How does. You? And I don't know. I don't know what it's for. Maybe like to in like the. Uh, the the windows and you unlock the car like that maybe that's what it does is there a testing kit for this as well or no no okay there's no way of testing this so open test lock okay there is a test lock this must be it okay got it so use unlock kit so oh wrap put it around there you go there you go simple easy <laughs> super easy dude okay i spent a thousand dollars to have a freaking stick in a rubber band? What the hell am I doing? I'm the one getting ripped off here, ain't I? That's a stick in a rubber band that I just did. Okay, so 401. I could have bought Intel on 401, and I probably should have. So let's go back real quick and get Intel on 401. And see what's in there. Maybe there's a pricey, like, purse or something that we can get. Every place that we've been to so far has a safe, and we just can't get into the safe, which I'm a little bit sad about. There you go. Hello. No, not you. Oh, wait. That's the guy's at the pawn shop. Damn it. Luckily, this guy's by the pawn shop. The 401. I think this is... Is this the... Uh, is 401 the, the video store? No, it's not. It's actually right next door to the pawn shop. Very well. A coat hanger does the same job. Exactly. There you go. A coat hanger you can like get for free on most ends, too. Right? I guess that's the 80s for you, baby. Okay, let's go in here real quick, grab the intel first, and then we'll break in next door. Hello, hi, how are you? Uh, got a problem with the law? You keep asking me that, we're gonna have a problem here. Is it 401? Just to double check, yeah, 401. Give me the 401 intel, give me the deets, baby. Okay, let's see here. Um, okay, 401. Okay, Ashley, Robert. Looks like Ashley does leave during the day at 9 a.m. Robert stays home. Keyboard, printer, slide projector, purse, blue. And they've recently had problems with the fuse box. Fuse box. Okay, so kind of very simple, it seems, maybe. Maybe I might be, uh, uh, you know, being a little bit presumptuous. I don't know. Let's see. There we go. I don't want the bolt cutters, I don't think. I think I want maybe uh, a crowbar. Yeah. Maybe a crowbar instead this time. Oh. Uh, just jump it. Okay, no, I do not want a crowbar because all their windows are blocked. Oh wait, downstairs, but upstairs is is good to go. Okay. Uh, here I could technically get into. Okay, I see. We're gonna go. We're gonna take it from the upstairs. Yeah. So we know where both of them are at. Okay, we do know where both of them are at. Subscribe. One's up, one's down. Uh, what the heck is that name that just subscribed? That is not even a name. But thank you for the subscription, nonetheless. Okay. How's this game compared to Thief Simulator 1? Both are on sale, trying to figure out which to buy. Think this is worth it? Uh, I haven't played enough. I, I, I haven't played enough to determine if this is better than Thief Simulator. Um, if you haven't played any of it, I know Thief Simulator is on sale. So, I mean, if anything, uh, that's not a bad deal. Uh, I think Thief, Thief Simulator DLC... Thief Simulator DLC comes out tomorrow as well, I'm pretty sure. So that's also something to think about. Uh, they're kind of different in the in the regards of the, like... Um, oh, my God. In regards to, like, open world and non-open world, you could say. Oh, my God. That was very, very loud. 
I kind of like the open world aspect and I like the 80s kind of dealio we got going on here. That's just me though. I feel like Thief Simulator 1 is very more intimate. And that, and that means like uh, way more technical. Gramophone does cost a bit, but it is very heavy. Oh, don't. That gramophone sucks. $15. There's the purse. We'll take that. Take that as well. Uh, we'll take the keys to the garage. Kind of want to open this door, but maybe it's not worth it now. What's in there? A slide projector? What's in there? A safe? Can't get into the safe. There we go. Uh, use a lockpick here. Right there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Let's see what's inside. Bathroom? I'll be pissed if it's a bathroom. No, it's stairs. Okay, cool. Let's go upstairs. So we have the car available for us, but I want to get... Oh, this is... That's not worth it. Not going... That's not worth going to the top. I want to get more items. Do I... Oh, wait. Do I have any... Um, I do, I do. I do, I do, I do. I do have some skill points. I kind of want to wait for three skill points so I can get a bigger backpack. Because that seems to be my problem right now is just inventory space. All right. Let's go in here, maybe. A lot of lockpicks I'm going to go through here. There we go. There we go. Are you in this room? You're not in this room. Make sure to choose the right stuff. VHS player, not the right stuff. A decor sphere, not right as well. Um, nope, nothing here. Landline phone, $6. I'll take the $6. I can't tell. I don't know if the landline phone is good or not. I should probably try it. Okay, bathroom. Okay, they might be switching shifts here in a sec. I'll take the landline phone just to try it out. I don't want to go in there, but she's in there. Okay, so that's the front. Okay. So the other, only other thing I could really get myself is that printer. Which is right there on the other side of that wall. That's a weird... Wait, that's a weird spot. Wait a second. Did I, is that downstairs? Yeah. Is that right there? Where is that? Oh, it is. It's right there. Okay, cool. Uh, give me it. Grab it. Grab it, young man. There we go. Nice. Okay, we at least got the uh, pricey printer. I think, if anything, I'm going to go ahead and grab this radio, too, if I can. I'll throw that on my back. And then, um, I don't think there's anything else I can really grab that's... No, there's nothing really I can grab that's smaller. The hell is that? It's like a little dot there. Oh wait, landline? We'll grab the cordless phone too. There we go. We're full up. We're full. All right, let's go take this car now. I'm gonna go back up and I'm gonna jump out of the window. <laughs> I'm gonna jump off the balcony here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yo, the man's in the in the room. Oh my god, where is he going? Go upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, damn my ass. Stop. I will not stop. Yo. Okay, get out of here. Yo. Oh. God damn. Woo. Okay, so. I'm starting to understand. So, one. It seems like. It seems like detection in this game is not, it's not really about detection. It really does seem like they, they feel the need to chase after somebody when they notice something is gone. That's kind of what I'm having because he had no idea we were there. There, there, there would have been no way that he would have known that we were there. At all. Alright, that's fine. 2K stressed me out. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use... Oh, we can't use that. Very well. We're going to go back and do the same process here. But I'm going to be more fast about that. 
it's a little a little upsetting in a way kind of that they know I don't know I don't know how they're being um, alerted oh my god this is tripping me out you smelled your cologne that's probably exactly what it is <laughs> like go in Oh my god. I think this window's kind of glitched out too. There we go. We got it. Good lord. Yeah, so it kind of seems like they just notice things are gone. Because there's no way he would have known that we were in the house. So we're going to grab this. We'll grab this. We'll go down and grab um, the uh, the couple of phones. We'll grab the key, obviously. We'll grab the uh, uh, printer. And then we'll be on our freaking merry way. There we go. There we go. I guess one thing that he could have noticed was that this door was lockpicked. Maybe that's what he noticed, that this door was lockpicked. So that, that maybe could be something. I guess that kind of makes sense. I don't know. Okay, let, let me in. There we go. There we go. I like how the other person, though, was still sleeping during this catastrophe. By the way, props to the police officer for showing up so damn freaking quick. What the hell was that? Could you imagine if that happened in real life? If they showed up that fast? We wouldn't have the problems that we would have now, I don't think. Maybe, I don't know. My God. Don't walk out here, please. I'm just stealing your phones. I'm stealing your money. That's all I'm taking. And your radio, too. Don't forget about the radio. I'm taking the radio as well. Okay. Now, let's run out to the house. To the garage. We'll take the um, the car. I'm going to backtrack a little bit here. And I'm going to jump off the balcony. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump off the balcony. Out. I go. Right down to the bottom. There we go. Because now we have the key to the key to the garage here. Use the key. Good job. There's like a DeLorean in here? Holy hell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pricey keyboard. I wish I would have grabbed that. Ooh, grab the earrings again. Okay. So, we want to make sure that we unlock this first. There you go. They're not going to hear that, surprisingly. Okay, now us. This is a very small car. Go ahead and use our unlock kit. Got it? Simple, easy, get in the car. Let's go. Now, wait a sec. Just because we unlocked the car, how do we start the car? We didn't get the keys to the car. No, we just got keys to the garage. Oh, shit. Where am I supposed to drive this thing? To the left? Oh, is that bolt cutter action? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Hang on a sec. Time out, DeLorean. Is that... That is bolt cutter action. Crap, okay. I gotta get the bolt cutters now. It sucks that you can't carry two tools at once. Okay, give me the, uh, we'll change our outfit too. We'll change our outfit back to casual, we'll get the bolt cutters. There we go. And we'll go bolt cut this, uh, gate. Hopefully they don't hear or see me. What? No! Nothing is out here. There you go, look away. I didn't realize her window was that close to me. Okay, there we go. Okay, go, go, go. I refuse. I refuse. Officers are on the scene. Are you absolutely shitting me? the frick dude <laughs> oh my god we, we're gonna get it oh my god oh my god go get out of here you'll never catch me Coppers. You'll never catch me. I promise you. I'm going back to the damn future. 
We're making our own paths now. Let's go. Get the first person. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That was crazy. Well, we did it. That's one way to do it. It's a very st sturdy bush. The impeccable bush. There you go. Dear God, son. I had you shoot an elk. Aren't we over this? This'll never be over. They're ruining my dreams of format dominance. Oh, thank <laughs> God you're here. Listen, my boy's got some trouble with a little competition. Would you help him out and get him off my back? Thanks for the support, Dad. I'll be in my shop. I bet you this guy votes for Pedro. <laughs> guy getting his car stolen casually walks up to his car getting robbed. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. I mean, that was something. Deliver the car to Raymond's garage is what we did. Now we have to talk to Hunter in the VHS ha Haven. Heaven? Nice. We get to go to the actual Blockbuster now. Maybe, in a way. Get our car back for 26 freaking dollars. I'm going to go to the pawn shop first so we can sell all the stuff that we got. So, I, I will say, this game is a little wonky compared to Thief Simulator 1. Thief Simulator 1, you're not getting away with that stuff. Like, it's not happening. You will get demolished by the police. This game, it's like... They seem to be very blind. <laughs> and it's very easy to, uh... To, uh... E e evade the police in that matter. So, I don't know. The AI in this game seems way more wonkier than uh, in Thief Sim 1. Hello, I would like to sell you some stuff. What do you have your eye on? Nothing. What do you have your eye on? Very much so. 14 hundo. Uh, yeah, good, my good man, would you like, I don't know. Uh, no, I guess not. Never mind. So, talk to Hunter in the VHS Haven. Guess we can go. The, eh, we can walk across the street or drive across the street. We'll walk across the street. Oh, look at this place. Mr. M Muscle, the Toilinator. Love it. The Smog. Seeing the references here. Fat Max. Dumbo. Where are you drilling? Thank you, Rambo. When is Thief, Su Thief Sim 2 come out? Or is it already out? No, I don't think Thief Sim 2 uh, has came out yet. We've done, I think we've done a demo on it um, last year. And it was actually kind of cool. They introduced like drones and stuff. Hello, Hunter. I'm just looking around first. Looking at all your references. Can I help you? Uh, your father said you needed help. Oh, it's you. My father seems to be under the impression you can help advance my agenda. As you know, there is a war between formats, VHS and Betamax, or as I hell? like to call it, Beta. What the hell is Betamax? Unfortunately, the Beta boys are craftier than expected. Sales are down. Okay. But I'm not a Beta boy. I'm a VHS man. I shot an elk. It's time to show those beta boys how we do things in shady woods. I need you to go to their base of operations in the basement of one of their parents' warehouses and break their counterfeit Betamax manufacturing. So I don't know what a Betamax is. But all right, I guess break and uh, okay. So mark the camera in 502. So absolute alpha move. Where's 502 at? Is this in a different town? Or is this up the street? 502, okay, I see. 506, 503, 501, 502. Okay, so the warehouse up there. Okay, I see. What is this? Medium house? Can you actually buy a house in this game? You might be able to buy a house in this game. I'm a little curious on that. Alright, so mark the camera at, in 502. I don't think I can buy information on 502. At least not from this pawn shop. Oh, dang, I thought this was Steve Sim 2. That's a welcome to surprise to me. No, nope, not Thief Sim 2. This is this is developed by Thief Simulator. 
uh, by the Thief Simulator devs. But this is called American Theft 80s. Okay, the heat is very bad. So the police officers are not very happy with us. And I think I'm going the wrong way anyway, so we're not even going to go that way. Betamax was a com competing technology that only lasted a few years. It's like Sony mini discs. Oh, really? I did not know that. It was another type of videotape, a smaller tape, a VHS. VHS proved to be more popular and won out. Though some argue that Betamax was superior. That's interesting. It was supposed to be similar to an 8-track. It would just loop back to the beginning when it finished. Instead of like having to rewind with the V. I wonder why VHS took off over that then. So this is a medium house. This is what is described as a medium house, right? I don't know what that means. Let's see. Like it. Yeah, okay, this looks like a house you can own. Yeah, this looks like a house you can own. How would one own it? I have no idea. There might be a way that the game teaches us later on. Alright, let's continue through. Let's get to the 502. Get to the Betamax, baby. And then let's go ahead and mark the camera. Oh, look, at there's a car right there, too. Oh, it's a Raymond car, too. I had a friend with the Betamax player. That's funny. I wonder if those things are like, if you if 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 you can find a player and find any discs anymore. Destroy the beta players at 502 with a hammer. Okay. We're going to need a hammer. Hello, guard. How are you? Looks like your shift ends also. Looks like you don't last throughout the night. I'm just going to check out the entire warehouse to see what you have for us. There's another camera. Is there any weak spots that you have here in this compound? I'm just going to do my casual work like I usually do. Dun, 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 dun. Don't see any more cameras. Oh. That's on a different property. Looks like one way in, one way out type situation here. The Betamax nerds are definitely uh, on par onto the security. And let's actually get F. Oh, shit. Right I'm not doing anything illegal. What the hell, man? Who are you? How did you jump over the fence? My man, I wasn't doing anything illegal. I technically was not on your property. You cannot chase me. I was on public property. And first things, how did you jump onto the container so damn fast? How did you jump over that spike fence? I really want to ask that question there, dill hole. That's some BS. See how I talk about the AI is a little wonky? Stop right there. Suck it. I think I might bop this guy. Yeah, I might bop this guy. What do you want? Get bopped? And then I run. And then I get in my car. And I perform uh, vehicular manslaughter. Actually, probably in this case, this would probably be straight up murder. Get out of me. <laughs> That's some BS, dude. That's some BS, man. I wasn't even on their property. I just jumped on a container. That ain't fair. I just wanted to get a better view. At least I know a weak spot to the weak weak spot to that place. Let's park our vehicle right here. Can we like uh no, we can't do anything. We can't sleep and we cannot change our outfit. Really, we can't change our outfit during this time. Interesting. All right, we'll, we'll wait out the cops for a sec. All cop beat down. He almost beat my ass down. Like, that, that... The fact that that man just jumped over, like, he was some kind of AI, like, some something out of iRobot. Like, he jumped over that fence, no problem. Come on, now. Come on, coppers. I'm not there. You'll never find me. Let it go.
Just like give it a sec, I guess. And wait for this mother mother effa to get done. Let me just get out of the car. Maybe that will change things. Lose heat by paying the cop. Thank you for that. Okay, we're done, right? Still not safe? Oh shit, the cop's gonna run through. He's gonna drive through here. Oh shoot! I just hit the thing that you find in your local Walmart. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you for that, buddy old pal. Stop. You know what, just take me. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting and you just took me for a sucker punch. Very well. Hi from South Africa. Well, hello to South Africa. Traki, hopefully I said that right. Traki. Okay, so note to self, don't ever jump on a container or you will probably just be abused. Very well. Um, I would like to then change my equipment to probably not bolt cutters actually probably bolt cutters if i want to steal that car actually probably not bolt cutters because that looks like it's done electrically that that fence there so probably no bolt cutters and we'll mark that camera we'll go over here and we'll mark this camera and we'll do that rob says i'm really enjoying this game well shout out to you rob this game's pretty cool huh i i, I am enjoying it myself as well I'm having a lot of fun with it. All right, whoa, whoa, is this the merchant? Oh, it is the merchant. Oh, hey, buddy. What are you doing here? What are you asking for? Oh, no. I'm sorry, you're not what I thought you were. You're an actual, like, kind of like a pawn shop guy. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. I'm gonna go ahead and change my outfit and I'm gonna change the time of day. So change outfit, we'll go there, we'll do that, and then actually, oh damn it, we need to get rid of the um, the bolt cutter, cutters as well. Hammer, we gotta get the hammer out, um, and then let's go ahead and sleep until nighttime. There we go. I don't know the price point of this game, if anybody has that information, I would really appreciate that. I do not know the price point to this game. The publishers and develop the publishers did give me a give me a key to this game, so that's how I'm able to bring it to you guys today. The guy selling stuff out of his van on the side of the road always find an upstanding citizen. <laughs> okay, so that guard should be gone. He doesn't work during the night, weirdly enough. That camera is right there, which is doing that. Okay. We have a Raymond vehicle here that we could steal. Yeah, this is an electric um, electric fence that we probably have to open up somehow, some way. Very good. Same with this. It's on sale right now for $17.99, normally $19.99. Good shout. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. That gives me more of a... More of an idea of what we're looking at here. So I'm going to go this way. I don't know if there... I guess there is technically one person here. Yeah, there is one person here. Someone heard you. That's all right. He can hear me all he wants. The guard is in the back? I thought he doesn't work during the... Um, yeah, he doesn't work during the... Uh, during the nights. I don't think his shift said. The beta boy's here, but I don't think he he shouldn't be able to see me. Yeah, he shouldn't be able to see me. Now beta boy is here only during the n evening time. Looks like he does leave then. All right, we'll see here. I'll keep my eye out on the guard back here then. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there is the top. There is this like balcony here that we can go up to. Yeah, I think I hear the guard now.
well, in that case, I, I should go through the door here. Okay. Unless it's the Beta Boy's foot, footsteps I'm hearing. I'm not sure. Okay, Beta Boy outside. Okay, Beta Boy is now going outside. This makes me incredibly nervous. There's the guard. You son of a bitch. Okay, he is definitely here. Is he a different guard then? Yeah, he's a different guard. He's the nighttime guard. Okay, so there's two different guards. This is the nighttime guard and then there's the daytime guard. I got it. I see. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so let's see. What is his route? His route might change. We could distract him. That's another thing that we could do. I don't know what happened to the beta boy. I don't know if the beta boy went home. Because if he did, this that's perfect. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to distract this guy. We're going to distract this guy. Okay. That that really didn't distract him. Okay. I mean, I guess the the radius has to be in the same area with this guy. There you go. Someone heard me? No, someone did not hear me. Somebody just think they heard me. Okay, yeah, we got to go this way now. Mm -hmm. Now, he shouldn't be able to hear me now. Or see me. Sorry. See me. I should be able to sneak this way. Climb up here. No problem. And then get up in here. There we go. Okay, there, is there any other cameras in here? I see the power for the cameras. I think the beta boy is gone. So, I think we're clear. We're in the clear. Oh, baby. I would like to get a little bit more stamina. I could use my skill points to do that. Is this a door? Oh, God. Is it locked? Oh, sick. I can pick lock it. Very good. There we go. So this game is 26 Australian dollars, which is about uh, 18 USD. Seems there's also a bundle which includes the Thief Simulator in this game for $30, roughly $20 USD. Very good, very good. I did not know that either. I wonder if there's a um, a bundle discount where if you have Thief Simulator One, you get a discount with this game also. But sometimes they do that bundle discount thing too. Okay, let's see. Uh. What the hell is this? Is this the is this the player? This is the player. Suck on that. That's one out of three. <laughs> okay, cool, dude. Um, <laughs> it's like a shrine down here. There's the other betas. Gotta love my beta. Okay, that's done. This is also going to be done. Okay. Very good. Okay. Return to Hunter. Surprised there's nothing in here to really steal either. I'm a little disappointed on that. Okay. So, yeah. Just, like, get the hell out of here. But, however, I would like to steal the hey, car. Subscriber. David. Thank you, David, for subscribing. I would like to steal the car out front. So, I'm going to see if I can, um... Potentially... Open it through a gate system of some sort it's over here in the front. I think there's a gate system or a switch. What does this do? Cables box. Electrician tools I don't have. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe there isn't. Okay, it looks like I have to go out the same way I came back in. Alright. Fair enough. 
I was hoping there would have been like a, a like a, a switch of some sort to to really um, open up the gate. And I don't think I can go this way either because this camera covers this entire spot right here, which it does. But I can go this way. Yeah. All right, we'll go talk to Hunter. I was hoping, I was hoping I could like do two for one there, get the car, but it's all good. A bit of extra discount on top of the discount as a bundle. I think I will pull the trigger on both games. There you go. If you do that, you could go like, uh, you could go, there's a discount obviously on Thief Simulator 1. You could buy Thief Simulator 1 as a discount and then you could, uh, you could then probably bundle it with American Theft and get it at a cheaper rate and then when Thief Simulator 2 comes out you could probably even look into um, bundling it when that game comes out too because I'm sure they'll probably bundle it when Thief Sim 2 comes out hello can I help you yes I did what you wanted you fought with honor Gondor would be proud Who? but alas I have more my clientele do not always return their tapes in a timely fashion. I'll give you the bounty list. Okay. Can I help you? Uh, show me the list. What's your bounty list? So you have VHS tapes, the Toilinator, the Smog, Fat Max, and Dumbo. Okay. Sure. All right. You give me a uh, reputation for all the above, and you give me $600 for them, too. So 402, 401, 400, and 404. Very good. Cool. So, pick up the phone near the arcade. Okay. Where's the arcade at? Down the street? That sounds kind of cool. Arcade. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> we have a lot of heat on us, though. Oh, look at that. Oh, there is an arcade. Look at that. Very cool. Nice. Looks like the situation has gone international. Probably gonna need to get like and I don't just reputation or something. Trips to Thailand. One Mr. Gruber is in town, and you two know someone in common, Hunter. I'd wager if you build up a reputation, he'll want you on his payroll. Go make a name for yourself, then have a chat with Hunter. I think he'll set you up. Right, so the game wants me to build up reputation again. So we're kind of getting into the same wishy-washy, earn X amount of trust and all that, which um, is going to have to happen by getting tapes to Hunter uh, through breaking into houses. Yeah, breaking into houses. I believe the 401, 402, 403, where the VHS tapes are at. Okay, interesting. Kind of going here. Can I play any of the games? <gasps> Yo! Sick! This is cool. You can actually play the arcade games in here. Nice! Good touch. I mean, it's very basic, but it's still a nice touch, regardless. A game within a game, right? Star Attacker? Oh, nice! Oh, very good. Oh, I love it. This is actually really cool. That's really, really cool. Is that the same one? Killer Block from Hell? Is that what that said? No, from Mars. My bad. Space Force? That's a new one. What's that one? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love the games. Very good. Very good. This is kind of cool. Uh, so what do you do here, my good man? Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Hey, uh, I've heard you, Hunter, I've heard of you. Hunter says you're good with a hammer. I got a job for you. Then people aren't coming around so much anymore. And I think I know why on the street is folks are getting their own arcade machines and keeping them at home. It ain't right. I bust my ass to build this place. If anyone's going to play, they do it at my terms. Oh, that sounds awful. What is wrong with you? But I'll, I'll, I'm just playing an arcade game. You, hello. Hey. Oh, I see. It's because my car is parked like a... Yeah, I get it. All right. Hello. 
Gosh darn it. I'm sorry I didn't park normally. I know, I know. Bust my ass. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop right there because I illegally parked. I don't deserve a fist to the face because I illegally parked. That that's no. No, 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 no. That that's that's abuse. It's absolutely abuse. I've been working and been in and out. Who is this guy on the phone? That is a good question. It's like the guy in the um in the very 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 beginning kind of. Um I don't remember his name, though. I totally forgot his name, now thinking about it. I'll move the car. Jesus Christ. There, I moved the car. Now, I wonder if this will give me reputation if I do this quest. Hello. Albert. Can't, can't you see I'm busy? I can't. I can beat your high score, kid. Yeah, right. Do it then. I'll be waiting. No problem. Oh, shit. Arcade showdown round. Beat Albert's score of 100 at Killer Blocks from Mars. Okay. 100, that's all I have to beat? Okay. Oh, sh! All right, 100 it is. Let's go. You don't think I can beat your score? I got you, dude. Coming right at you. Okay, I might not be able to beat your score. <laughs> think I'm afraid? Holy cow, how, how are you still streaming? <laughs> Believe me, I ask myself that question all the time. And not only that, I have to stream and then I have to go record a bunch of videos. So I got all that ahead of me. <laughs> it's all the uh, sacrifices. Remember, let's go. Hey! Hey! Strife guy! Hey! Strife guy! T wow! Very. Thank you, man. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That was very kind to you. Super, super cool. Big ups. Very, very good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. We all do here on the channel. It helps me uh, continue doing this every single day. Helps me uh, continue uh, making content every single day. And helps continue me having these longer streams. Not every day, but, you know, when I do get streams going on, it helps me uh, continue uh, these longer streams. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I do not take that lightly. Does it take a load off, too? Yeah. I do not take that lightly. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Alright, so we just need to beat 100. Just get it to the right, please. Thank you. Just get it to the right. There you go. We're at 71. We just need to get 100. Come on now. Get up in there. Get up in there. Get in there, Lewis! Damn it. Come on now. There you go. 77. I think I guess the whole thing is 100. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe a little less than 100. Or sorry. A little more than 100. 82. 83. 85. 15 off. No, no, no. Go the other way with it, please. Damn it. There you go. There you go. There you go, cowboy. 91. 92. 93, 94, 95, 96. Oh, damn it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Excuse me? Hey. I am always happy to help out those who deserve slash need it. Oh, that was very kind of you. Thank you so much for the super chat as well, Strife. Oh, my God. That was... That was very, very, very kind. I'm always happy to help. Thank you. Appreciate that a lot. Not only... That was loud. Not only do I appreciate that, but Danielle also... Like, Danielle and I, both of us, really do appreciate that support. That was very, very kind of you. Thank you so much for that. For the member and the super chat. Today was a good day. <laughs> Hey, we beat Albert, though. Told you I can. You old geezer, beginner's luck. Can't you see I'm busy? Any other games you're good at? Let's see how good you are at Space Force, old man. No problem. No, I'm not doing that again. Jesus Christ. They actually did give me reputation, though, but little by little. We'll do this guy's job, though. Tell him about, like, smashing stuff. 
So arcades are only for the uh, are only for the arcade. So destroy the arcade machine in house 403 or building 403. Oh, it's across the street. Oh god, I'm in burglar outfit in the middle of the daytime. Yep, uh, burglar outfit during the daytime. Not good. Sure, probably took my car over here. I think you, I think you, I made you lose it. No, you did. Uh, you did just fine. You did just fine. Yeah, I should have brought my car over here since that is my equipment handler. Damn it. Can I tow my vehicle over here? Is it anywhere near? No, there's not a payphone nearby. Alright, let's get this. Yeah, I actually do need it. Son of a gun. Because I have no tools on me either. Unless I can get in here. No, I don't have a crowbar. Yep, alright. I gotta go get my, my thing. But is this it right here? What is this? VH, VHS tape. Okay, good. Right, let's go get our car. Plus, we should probably change the time of the day to make it nighttime. That, they rebolted that. Very good. Oh, crap. Now I'm stuck in here. <laughs> okay. I think I can get out through the roof yeah yeah I can get out through the roof we'll go out through the roof we'll go back get our car because I mean our car is our hub there is a car in here looks like there is a Raymond car in here of some sort and I kind of interested in that I can steal cars rather than just go and like nitpick little items here and there I'd rather do that all right let's go let's bust it where did I park my car over here Right next to the police at the um, arcade. Okay. Let's get inside. Let's grab our equipment. We would like to have... So we lost our hammer. So we got to go buy another hammer. Okay. We need some lock picks as well. Let's change our outfit. Okay. So let's go do that. Please leave me alone. I might have to talk to this guy and, like, this guy should help me with the heat, right? Hey, buddy, can you actually heat? help me with the heat? Not safe. God damn it. Guess we wait. Guess we wait until the cops are off of us. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there is another tape in there. Okay, that's good. There is that. Okay, I love how the, like, one thing I do like about this game is that once you have visited a place and you've located some of their things, um, or you've bought the intel, I should say, it does keep it forever, I guess it seems like. Yeah, it does keep it, which I do like. All right, my man, can I, like, tell you to, like, turn the heat down a bit? Just give me the cash and I'll take care of the heat. Yeah, 145? Sure. There you go. All right, so the heat are now taken care of. Uh, what do you need? I need a hammer. Whoa, $30 for a hammer. I'm pretty sure the guy in the van was selling a hammer for $7. I think I'm going to go to that guy. The pawn shop is just ripping me off. Yeah, I'm going to go buy uh, buy a hammer and lockpicks from the from the guy in the van. The guy in the van. Got to love a good hot shower. <laughs> It's funny. I I I like I I take hot showers like warm hot showers, you know, but like Danielle, she takes like scolding boiling hot showers and I'm like, "How?" Some people love like that very very hot hot shower intake. And I'm like, "How can you do that? Doesn't that hurt your skin?" I, my skin might be sensitive. I have no idea. There we go. I'm pretty sure this guy's selling this stuff at a cheaper rate. My man, are you not ripping me off over here? $30. You son of a gun. You're still same price. Okay. I thought you were 7 bucks before, but I guess I was wrong. So I drove all the way out here. Spent all the gas to drive out here for nothing. Taking it out on you. Alright. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to try to get some of these tapes. And we're going to destroy the machine in house or building 403. We have more lockpicks for us, which is good. Oh my god. Damn, damn, damn. 
Okay, 403, 403, 403. Okay, 401. Okay, 401, 405, 403. Okay, we're gonna park. Um, how should we do this? We should park. Where should we park? Uh, we'll park in the back, I guess? No. We'll park in the front. We'll park in the front in the, um, it's expecting to, like, bump out of here as fast as we can. Probably should make it nighttime, though. Yeah, let's make it nighttime first. And then we'll do that. How I like mine warm, boiling, hot is crazy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't do that, dude. That, it just hurts too much. I'm not in it for the pain. <laughs> yeah, let's switch our equipment over. Uh, we want to go... Hammer. Yeah, we want to go hammer. And we want to sleep until nighttime. Go like that. Okay. Then we want to put this car out into the front. Oh, God. Out into the front. And hopefully I can just, like, pick lock right here. No big deal. I can't. Okay, that's all right. So that means I got to go the long way around. Unless there's a little way I can come through here. Which I don't think there is. No. There is a Dumbo tape in that building, too. Okay, so let's go all the way around. We have the hammer. We are destroying an arcade. So we're not going to be able to break in through the window. Again, I wish you could have multiple uh, tools on you. Maybe there will be an ability to do so. I'm not sure. How's our skill points? Still at two. I'm waiting until three till we can get like an increased uh, uh, backpack there. Oh, wait, there's items. Oh, there you can go. Oh, I see. So you can actually maybe uh, drop. You can drop loot. Oh, okay. Very good. So what I said earlier was incorrect. You can absolutely do that. You can absolutely... Uh... Oh, God. You can definitely... Um... Definitely uh, drop loot. In case you don't want it anymore. Cool. I like that. I don't think there's a way I can get in here without it, like a key or anything, no? Oh, I can. Oh. Oh, what kind of car is in here? Now I'm getting distracted. Come on now. There you go. I love super hot showers. What the heck? Okay. Is this a student driver? No, it's a taxi. Okay. I uh, I mean, yeah. We could definitely do this. This won't be too hard to do. All we have to do is like bolt cut the the fence. We might do this. Now I'm curious. If I were to do this, I'm surprised that we're not hot wiring cars. I'll be real with you. If we were to do this, maybe everybody in the 80s left their keys in the car. <laughs> um, if we were to, like, plan this out, I wonder if the AI would get upset about it. Like, if we were, like, ready to bolt cut right there. Unless they're already... No, I don't think they're... Okay. What? No. 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 I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. Continue on. Continue on. Scoot away. Scoot along. I just moved my taxi out here. That's how I get out. I feel like super, uh, super sane with the steam coming off me. <laughs> That's funny. Always in the sun visor. Not in this day and age anymore. There we go. Okay. So, what we want... I would love to get the computer price as well. We want to get the tape. Um, wait, is this not 403? This is... Four, wait a sec. What? What is this? No, this isn't 403. That's 403. Next door is 403. Okay, so this is 403. Right. Sorry, I just broke into the wrong place. All right, let's try in this place. My bad. We should have probably bought Intel on this place. Of course, it doesn't take a regular lockpick. Take something else. Oh my god. All right. 
So we could use a window. <gasps> you did not hear me walk outside. You did not hear me out here. So this, oh, there's the arcade machine right there. I see. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Okay. So, we got to figure out, hang on a sec, this guy's going to come around the corner. We got to figure out how to get into there. So there's that building over there. That has like a little bit of a pathway to the top, which is probably the way we're going to have to go. Because we can't bring the window opener over here because we need the hammer to bop the arcade machine. Yeah, we need the hammer to bop the arcade machine. So we have to go to the other building, find a way across to get inside. Since we don't have, a, you know, the right tool to actually unlock that door there. Okay. A lot of weird things going on here. A lot of, lot of different things going on here. Okay, we'll go up. I can't get in here to grab this tape either. Because I don't have the crowbar. Yeah, no crowbar. Let's change out equipment. Hey oh. Damn. That was a hard hit. We'll change out the equipment. We'll figure out what's going on with 402. Yeah, building 402. Figure out how to get on top of that roof. So that we can scale across. I see. I see. Oh wait, here we go. What's this? What do we got going on here? We do have this. Maybe we can get into the top of the building from the upstairs. Yes. Okay. I see. The, I see the dream here. I see the dream. Okay. Let's go here. Lock pick this. There we go. Okay. Get inside. Okay, we want to get to the very, very, very top. Is he coming down? Is he coming down? He's coming down. He's coming down. Is it coming down all the way? He's coming down all the way. God, this guy moves fast. Okay. When he goes up, we have to go up. Come on, come on. God damn. Okay. Problem here is if we break into any of these doors, it's not good. So we're not going to break into this one. He's going to come through again. We're going to go right in. Sorry. Do not show. Do not come in here. Do not be alarmed that this door is now magically open. And now I go. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, crap. Now I got to get this done fast. Hurry. Hurry. Hurry before he comes back. Hurry before he comes back. Okay. Fast. You got to go faster. I hear his footsteps. You got to go faster. He's coming. Shut the door. Run. Run. Heard someone. Someone heard me. It was him, obviously. I don't know where he... No. No, no, no. No, no, no. No! We're okay. We're okay. Officers on the scene? We'll see about that. Go away. Okay, now it's my turn to go to the other building. Man, dude. It is super tough sometimes. Okay, go across. They will never find me over here. Burglary detected? We'll see. We'll see about that. Okay, now we're on the house that we want to be on. Okay, the police officer just came up to the top. Now he's not. <laughs> that was fast. Okay, we'll get into here. Nope. Oh. There we go. We go inside. Now, I don't know if this place has a guard or not. We'll have to figure that out. What am I here for? I could get the Dumbo tape. I don't know who's here, though. I really don't know who actually is here. This could be very bad.
This could be very, very bad. Okay, so far so good. I'm trying to hear if there's any footsteps. $68? How could I pass that up? $60? Okay. All right. Keyboard, I'm low-key really, like, wanting to grab. Okay, anybody in here? There is absolutely somebody in here. Can I scan them? Melissa. Melissa, I'm super sorry to do this to you, but I'm taking your keyboard. <laughs> okay. All right. Type in computer. That's actually, I think, pricey, right? I don't know. I want to check everything else why I'm in here. Okay. Dude, you have a safe? Okay, good. Good thing. You have a safe. Good note. I don't know how I'm supposed to get to your Dumbo over there. Maybe that's in the other house. Probably in the other house. Um, I'm going to disregard that now. Uh, let's go back down. Let's keep going down. God, dude. My nerves are so, like, happening right now. Okay, so that's the exit. Okay, now this other guy should be in here. Uh oh, she got up. The other guy should be sleeping in his bedroom, if I remember correctly, right? This is the guy with the arcade machine in his house. Now, how the hell am I going to beat the hell out of an arcade machine when he is uh, sleeping? It's a question I have not been able to answer fully in my head. I don't know. I don't know how, what we're going to do. We're just going by it. Run, man. There he is. There he is. There he is. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, best option, really, is to... Uh, uh, is to... Wait until he wakes up and goes about his day. Maybe goes to work or something. The only problem is that this is a very, very small door being opened. I've lost track of him. Hello? Yo. The man has no idea his front door is open. He's an absolute idiot. My God. My man, I'm in your bathroom. Do not come in here and take a shit. It is not the time. It is not the time. Don't nobody go in the bathroom for about 35, 45 minutes, all right? Oh, my God. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to beat this guy's machine quietly either. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's go first person. God damn. This is super, super eerie. Okay, he's going to look away, right? He looks away. I'm going to target him. I'm going to highlight. He sat down on the couch. That I did not know was going to be a thing. And he still has no idea somebody's in his freaking house. Oh. All right. <laughs> I don't know what to do, dude. I'm supposed to beat your machine up. Because you're not allowed to have a machine in 1980s because that's, like, done through a monopolized uh, section of businesses in your local arcade buildings, companies, towns, mom and pop shops, man. You're not allowed to have an arcade machine here. That's why I'm here. I'm supposed to beat the hell out of it. But I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with you in that room. I can't, I can't do anything until your shift changes. Is your shift changing? I don't even know, dude. It says living room 1F. Now, are you in the living room for the entire day? Is this all you do all day? Oh, my God. I think I might be screwed here. I think I might have to make a move regardless, which is very unfortunate, which I think I have to, like... He's going to have to call the cops on me. I'm going to have to run away upstairs, maybe. And hopefully he doesn't follow me or I hide. And then I can't I can't go outside and break open his window because I don't have the crowbar. I only have the hammer. So I thought this oh Melissa's oh shit. She's going to toilet? Oh, okay, on the second floor. Very good. If this guy goes to the toilet, I will be pissed. 
Yeah, so I'm really not sure how the, how to do this thing. Um, I don't have my crowbar. I can't bust through the window and bop it. Because if I could, I probably would have bust through the window right here now and beat the hell out of the arcade machine if I could. But I don't know, dude. If he goes to toilet 1F, I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. Uh-oh, I will say, though, I think I am dropping frames being in this toilet. Uh-oh. I think I'm dropping frames. Frames. I do apologize, people, if you are seeing some frame drop. <laughs> oh, God, no. We'll just go. Stop right there. You stop right there! I'm not here to discuss you. I'm here to bop this. I don't know. I don't know. Very, very crazy indeed. Very crazy indeed. That's a lot. That's definitely a lot. I will say. I can't believe the frame rate is now going ham. I do apologize, guys. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I could. I definitely could throw a bottle. I don't know how much that would uh, really show me there. What are we doing now? Whoa, we just actually got to the four hour mark. Um, so what I'm going to do, I know it's like being weird right now, frame rate wise, um, but it is the four hour mark, I just realized. So I think this is where we're going to kind of stop it for today. Yeah, we're going to kind of stop it here for right now. Um, if you guys want to see more of American Theft 80s, please let me know. Let me know. Hit the like button. That's all you have to do really is hit the like button and uh, we can continue with more American Theft 80s. Uh, everyone that hung out with me today, I really do appreciate it. I do. I do, I do, I do. Um, it's been real. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm sorry for the frame drops all of a sudden. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna end it right there. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Yeah, I, I am having a lot of fun with this game for sure. Um, there's some weird stuff happening with it. There's wonky stuff and whatnot, but it is what it is. I know frame rates are kind of like dropping right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to end this as fast as I can. If you want more content by me, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Uh, thank you so much for uh, the super chat, Kyle, Darren, uh, Strife Guy. Thank you so much for becoming a member. And thank you so much for the super chat as well. Um, it's been a pleasure and honor being with you guys here today. Sorry for the frame drops here. I think uh, internet might be uh, dipping a little bit right now. But um, hope you guys have a wonderful... <laughs> thank you, Rob. <laughs> thank you, Rob. By the way, the Giants swept the Dodgers in three games like this weekend. So F me. Um, but yeah, uh, we will... Uh, yeah. Well, well, we'll see what happens. Hit the like button. Comment down below if you're watching this in the replay and not watching this live. And let me know if you want to see more. And we will continue it. Thank you guys so much. And we will be continuing with our Let's Look At for the rest of the week. We're going to be taking a look at a different, a lot of different kinds of games. Anyways, thank you all so much. And I will see you guys in the next one, wherever that may be. And do as always, take care.